it's the Ruby Weapon Hour with our very special guest, Steve Buscemi. <laughs> It's time to play the intro, it's time to chug mustard, it's time to meet the gingers on Peach's stream tonight. It's time to pet the baby, it's time to shake the bag, it's time to order McDonald's on Peach's stream tonight. Why do you guys come here? I guess I'll never know. It's like a kind of torture to manage this shit show. Shadow Puzzle. And now let's get things started. Why don't you get things started? It's time to read donations on the most sensational, incompetable, unbeatable, blind debatable. This is what we call the Ruby Weapon Stream. What? Why would you do that? Stop. Dope. Did I do it right? Hello? Hello today? Wah. Wah. <laughs> Hello today. Wah test one two. <laughs> Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. I don't even know what happened. Hello today. Wah. Test one two. Test one two. Hello today. How are you doing? Hello today and welcome to the Ruby Weapon Hour. How are you? I am Peach. Some may call me Paige. Some may have other names for me. How are you doing? I do. I need to turn this game down. Did that turn it down for you guys? Also, how do how do I sound? Pat seems to have uh, fixed it, I think. Oh, good. I'm glad. Hello. Hello today. Welcome to Disco Elysium. Uh, we are doing part two of whatever I'm doing. Oh, and Pat's here. Hello, Pat. He's rolling around the floor. I don't know why. Um, Scratchy, man. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm oh, gassy because I just had a big old burrito, so we're burpy. It's like a taco with more rolls. It's a taco with more rolls. Mm. Um, so, welcome. Sorry that took me so long uh, to go live. I was dealing with like eight things. Of course, because as soon as, <laughs> as soon as uh, I, st I click the button, like I have to pee and then the dog, I don't know, needs to go out and the cat throws up and Pat's rolling on the floor and throwing a tantrum and then like eight people want to call me. Huh? I'm not throwing I mean, you were rolling around on the ground waving your arms a bunch. It looks like you're throwing tantrums. Uh, so anyway, I apologize. Uh, that took so long. What? Uh, you haven't seen El Elmo in many moons. Uh, Elmo is in the um, actual house, so he is chilling on the cushion that he likes and oh that is so loud and um it sounds like i'm in heaven <laughs> it sounds like i'm i don't know can you guys hear i think they can yeah that's that's what i'm i it was and then i turned it down it was loud for them yeah it sounds like i'm in heaven um hello i'm broadcasting from uh the right hand of christ Oh, no, don't worry. Elmo will be on stream again. Uh, it's just like I would have to bring him over, which I plan on doing sometimes, so don't worry. Do not worry. You'll see him sometimes. It's just now you don't have to deal with, like, you know, the cat ripping up, you know, wires and, you know, screaming and... <sighs> putting his entire body's worth of fur into the fans of the computer. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Do we have any plans for Halloween? I do. I think we're going to stream uh, the devil. Is it the devil inside or something? Yeah. yeah, the devil inside. We will be streaming the first, I think it's the first two hours is what they're allowing for Halloween no, this year. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, you're right. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm sorry. The build runs out. So we'll be playing as much of it as as we can until uh, until it actually comes out, which I think is mid-November. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I I sound like I'm a like I I can hear myself really well on these headphones, so I'm just like, "Hello, and you're listening to this uh radio station and now I'm going to very softly talk about this uh this piece of pottery that I have." You know what I mean? Um but I don't I yeah. 
it's some do you do you remember Delilah? I I always think of Delilah when I think of uh radio stations. Ah, uh, there is um you think of Fraser? Ah, yes. Yeah, it's my fart super loud. Are you guys going to be able to hear it? I, I don't know if we'll hear it. Go ahead. Okay, Pat, wait, hold on. Pat's going to fart no, and Okay. Well, no, if you're going to fart, fart and then we'll What? Yeah, what do you mean you don't trust me? Where's what's the trust? I don't trust your butt, but no, go ahead and fart. No, I don't want, I don't want to. Oh, he doesn't want to now. He doesn't want to now. Pat just doesn't want to shit his pants, so he loses the bet. That's all. You are a coward. All right. Anyway, you guys are weird. We are weird. It's you know it's weird over here, but it is fun. We are cringe, but we are free. So anyway, uh, don't worry. I did not uh, make it too far. If you did not make it to last night, do not fear. Or if you didn't make it all the way through, don't worry. I did not make it too far um, at all. So I think that uh, it should be fine. It should be fine. Patrick, how are you doing? You okay? Oh, he's laying on the... I feel so bad. I got him uh, some Mexican soda and uh, we are unable to open it. So he just ha he's just looking at it. And he's sad, and I feel bad. It, it is my it is my bad though. It is entirely my bad. Ugh. My belly. I'm so gassy. So I'm gonna try not to like uh, burp all over this mic. But if so, I'll like move my head or run away. I think it'll be fine. Use the corner of a table you hate to open it. See, that's the that's the problem though. Right now, um, we uh, most of our stuff is still. It's going to take forever to get here, and everything that is here is, like, brand new and nice, and I, we don't want to fuck with it. But that was my thought as well. I was like, oh, I'll just use a counter, and I'm like, mm -mm, no. Use a shoe. Slam the shoe down a few times. The cap will come loose. I don't know. Hmm. You pop bottle caps off with my... Oh! Oh, my God, Pat, hey. Uh, that, that reminds me, Pat. Th there actually is a way for you to open that soda if you want. If you go... This is kind of weird. Go to the back of my car, and I think if you take down the trunk, it has a built-in bottle opener. It's really fucked. I, I, I discovered that maybe a month or two ago. I was unloading some groceries, and I was like, is that a bottle opener? And I guess they kind of do that now, the last, like, I don't know, five or so years. I don't know. It's super fucked. I, I, guess, I guess what that means, it's like, you're oh, you're at, a, like, a... Tail, yeah, tailgating or whatever. No, no, I know. No, it's super fucked. No, look it up. I swear. What tailgates are you taking? I do not. I do not attend tailgates. Uh, my mother apparently. My my mom and my dad went to one recently, but I I do I do not. Mm. I am, however, having a big can of coconut water, and it is delicious. Ah, one hundred percent coconut water. I'm doing an ad read for coconut water. Please sponsor. Okay. Anyway, listen. Give me the nut water. I'm just saying. I listen. I, I've not had enough nut water. You don't tell me what to do. Uh, it is fresh. It is not moldy like it has been in the past. I have made. Ah, uh, Jesus. I have made that mistake. Uh, more than I would like to admit. I have made this mistake. There we go. Okay. Sorry. Just refreshing my phone. All right, let us give a brief thank a and then we will get into the meat, into that nut. R are you ready to get into the nut of Disco Elysium? Now that I'm a little less nervous and I'm understanding what you guys mean by how failure still allows you to progress, I'm just gonna have, like yeah, it's just like real life. I'm gonna make a little bit more, uh, I'm gonna be a little ballsier. I'm gonna I'm gonna ballsy it up, yeah. So I hope you're ready to drink from my balls. King Regal's resubbed for 46 months. Ahem, woo. Uh, everyone, I would like to hear a uh, please please give woo in the chat. A uh, a slightly disappointed woo. <laughs> give me give me a woo. Thank you thank you. This comes from uh like you know how like. You're at a burlesque show or whatever, and you hear like "woo," you know, like "woo." the the way The way you express your disappointment is just to go "woo." 
you know so you're still you're still showing appreciation like thank you for being here but it, it is not my cup of tea that's what someone once told me they were like yeah just do that and i was like really just to go Woo. i don't know i don't know I, yeah i yeah exactly damned with faint praise i don't live that kind of life it's gold trophies or blue ribbons or nothing eh. do they do halloween real big in canada i i i mean kind of i don't feel like it's as like wild as it is in um in the states um but i but i don't i don't know i don't know um Depends on how much snow we have. That is very true. I Mon Montreal, I will say, Montreal is definitely like a party city. And they will use any excuse to party. Halloween is one of those. And so, like, if you want to party in Canada at any point, you go to Montreal. Definitely. Especially, like, yeah, Halloween. Yeah, they love it. Faulty Jaw, resub for 60 months. That's five years. 60 friggin' months. Holy jeez. So glad you and Pat are in the new house and definitely missed you while you were busy running all that shit behind the scenes. Big love to you and the fam. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, I missed you guys a lot. In fact, so much that I was like, Pat, stop streaming so I can stream. It's about me now. The original plan was that you were going to stream in the morning and then I got up and I'm like, hey, Paige, and you were like, hey. It's true. I, so I, I was going to stream in the morning and... Uh, and then I slept too late. And I was like, eh, wait. Do you guys celebrate both Thanksgivings? Pat and I aren't really... So this is this is so embarrassing. Pat and I aren't really big on holidays in general. And I, I've even never... I'm not really... I'm just like, eh. I, I do celebrate. Like, like, yay, whatever. Get your hands off of those. Uh, there's no camera. Off of those so action figures. Get, get out of here. You smell. Yeah. You're farting. No, Go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck off. If you, if you, Pat, did you just shit on me? No, I did not. I, uh, but the, he's, the threat everybody, is there. Get, get out of here. Either, either stay and help support me and be my emotional support, support spend, or get the fuck out. I like that. <laughs> Stinky. I like that, emotional support spend. Hey, I actually have to uh, feed the dog. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I will what do you mean? About, I did. I did almost every chore. In fact, I, it took me an hour to vacuum all the floors and the baseboards. Oh yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. I, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. That is the one, one of the chores that I am unable to accomplish. Um, yeah, yeah. Dude, by the way, check the baseboards. What? What did you? Are you done with this? Yes. Yeah, there's nothing on the plate. Of course I'm, I'm done. Um, I, I fucking hey, check the baseboards. Like they are. You could eat off of them. I'm just really proud. Also, hey, I, I'm. Uh, if you could fold the towels and put them away, and put the clothes that I just washed in the dryer, and also, um, yeah, and then I have a load of dishes going. They should be done by now, actually. So yeah, all you really need to do is feed the dog, do that one chore I'm unable to do, and have. All the other chores that you just what other chore? You just said do the oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm filled with the light of Christ, Pat. I'm not high. I'm filled with um you the lost Lord. Your fucking mind? No, you no, I have not lost my mind. Day. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, Patrick. That's what happens when I stream. Uh the Lord the Lord's energy. I, know, I, can, I can do all that stuff. Okay, thank you. Uh, is that okay? That's I'll, not too much, I'll is it? Keep going for a bit. Pat, there's like li literally Pat. It's three towels. Hey, look at me. Oh yeah, no, I know that that one's gonna take you a while. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Best of luck with that one. Oh, you got the scatterbrain. Listen, I'm. Ah, anyway, yeah. What you didn't see was that he backed up his giant ass on me, and like it was just a little too warm, and it made me very nervous. But that's fine. Nasty. <sighs> okay. Oh, sorry. Also, yeah, no camera. It's because uh, the light of Christ is shining out of my eyes too hard. And I, you know, I just don't want to turn you into a pillar of salt. Maybe Falco gifted 10 subs. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And please enjoy recipients. And thank you, maybe Falco. That is so kind. Gifted I really. 10 subs with no camera. What are you, crazy? Get the f Patrick? Wow. You stink. Oh. It's almost like a smart person told you that the camera barely mattered. What? Mm, anyway. <laughs> okay. Smart 
Shut the fuck. Get the fuck. Go away. Go home. Go home. You know what my favorite part Go to place. You know what? My favorite part about Paige is. <laughs> what? She's like, hey, can you hang out so for my moral support spend? And I'm like, okay. And then every time I open my mouth, she's like, get the fuck out of here. Well, because you, you, you need to go do your chores, uh. <laughs> go do your chores, uh. Get out of here. Anyway, back, back to, back to me being in heaven, as you can. Oh, is there a Oh my god, what? What? Yes, I just just put them in the dryer. Uh, oh, 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 um, my, okay, so you're gonna see some unmentionables. Please just set them, yeah, on the countertop next to the washer. Do, do not put those in the dryer. You will see them, you will know what they are. Do not put those in the dryer. And then I'll take care of them later. I just I Patrick. Answer. Everything else is cool. Just, just, just the unmentionables. So just normal, regular oh yeah, it's yeah, it's just regular. I, was I I know, and that's why I was like, but the important thing is the unmentionables. But not your butt underwear. <sighs> Don't bring up my butt underwear. Anyway, Pat cannot be allowed to see my unmentionables. Yeah, that'll be <laughs> They'll be mentionable. <laughs> Shut up. Go away. Either be here and support me or not. Uh, okay. All right. He'll be back. But come back when you're done. I love you. Miss you all. Miss you already. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Ahem. The Blue Warden gifted two subs. Thank you so much. And please enjoy recipients. Because Listen, it's because I am pure. Um, as you know, we keep a pure, chaste marriage. Um... And, um, uh, you know, I did, I did allow him to see the marriage titty. I did allow once, once marriage was complete. Oh, oh, I'm pure something. Oh, oh, thanks, Ramu. Yeah, man, separate beds and everything. I would never, especially since my mom is listening. I would, I would never in my life. <clears throat> Lynn has been sub for 12 months. That's a year. We are blessed by the return of page streams. Hello today. And uh, hello today. And uh, hello today. Blessing upon you. Thank you. Thank you. Then how do I know his dick is so big? It's because he wears those gray sweatpants. You know what I'm saying? By the way, if you wear gray sweatpants, be careful. Okay? Because we can see everything. Okay? What does my mom think of my streams? She loves them. Um, in fact, she... Excuse me. She will listen to Pat's streams even when I'm not there. Um, she thinks we are very funny. <laughs> uh, she's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, does that mean continue or stop? Huh, that's, a, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, it just means like you better like dab after you pee. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean like move that thing with your arms. I mean like actually like make sure things are cool. Because if your like pipe starts to drip, if you know what I'm saying, like it's it's probably gonna be seen. <laughs> also, the outline of your pee pee may be seen. So if you are gonna use light gray sweatpants, please choose a thick material. God bless. God bless. Waltz Queen resub for 19 months. Glad you're well enough to stream two days in a row. Yes, I'm actually feeling incredible. I feel like weirdly good. It's a little frightening. Can't wait to hear you scream both with laughter and mortification in turn. Oh, don't. Yeah, don't. I'm sure there's. I'm going I'm to feel a lot of emotions. I don't worry. Love for me and the fur babies to ooh and yours. Stay healthy. Stay happy. I will. I will. And I wish the same for you, my dear. Academic. I'm sorry for our behavior, Mrs. Page's mom. Don't worry. Okay, so genuinely, genuinely, she says that you guys are actually funnier than us. And sometimes she'll be watching chat more than me and Pat, um, which I was like a little hurt, but I was also like, yeah, fine. True. <laughs> and it was, I was like hurtful, but not untrue. Shark Missile gifted five subs. Thank you kindly. Much obliged. Much obliged. Much obliged to you, Shark Missile. May may your may your uh, may the missile of your shark uh, ever be true. SKM seven four two resub four thirty nine months two peach streams in as many days. What is this? I may need to go back to Disco Elysium just to keep ahead of you. I know, right? I know, I know. Yeah, if you um, if you're into Disco Elysium, please feel free to play along with me, or or go back and play it if you want. It's a pretty good game. 
pretty good. Finch9001, subscribe. Much obliged to you. Thank you. Moink1234, resubbed for five months. Thank you. Dovadude29, donated five doll hairs. Good luck, Paige. Solve the mystery of who shit your pants in the video game. LMAO. It was me. It was me. I'm just telling you right now. Pandora Prime, gifted a sub to Abrupt Ape. Thank you, Pando. I love that you're here. Thank you. I love seeing you. Nocturne November resubbed for 15 months. Hey, I'm back. Missed the stream. Did I miss any lucky rolls or total disasters? I did manage. Uh, I did manage to have two yesterday where I think it was like 8% or 3% or 8% and I totally got it. And then there was one that was like 82% and I, I got goofed. So, well, you know, it's going to it's gonna fuck me in my ass dry, you know. Sorry, Mom. Bark on 345 resubbed for 26 months. Thank you so much. Thank you kindly. Much obliged to you. Much obliged to you. Whew. Sorry, I'm not, I don't mean to sigh like I'm like, um, I'm like, I'm like filled with a burrito right now. <laughs> I am filled with the power of Christ and um, a large fish burrito. The Real Cocaine Montana gifted one sub. Thank you much obliged to you and also please enjoy recipient. Silish resub for 29 months. That's disco, baby. I love disco. In fact, uh, Carly Rae Jepsen has a new song called The Loneliest Time that I feel is like very disco-esque. It's a great song. And Pat actually made me realize that it's suspiciously, it suspiciously sounds like a... Um, a Sonic a song from one of the Sonic games and, I, and he played it for me and it is suspicious it is suspicious like nearly almost identical it's incredible I know I had a big burrito um, filled with microplastics pretty much I mean, like I mean my, here's the thing though right M uh, micro and nanoplastics are found on Mount Everest uh, in Antarctica and now they are finding it in placentas. We're toast. We're, we're filled to the brim with microplastics. You cannot escape. It's in our blood at this point, like literally. Um, I could, God, dude, I could do a whole stream where I just talk about like the chemicals and the, the toxins and also this. I could do a whole thing about the way we have fucked our planet dry, um, literally and um, metaphorically. But I don't want to be that guy that's like, Ugh, can't you hear the cry of the planet? You know, I don't want to be, I don't want to do a Doomer stream right now. I won't, I won't do that to you. At some point, I would like to have one where it's like, let's watch videos about climate change and cry together. I mean, I think that'd be fun, but I don't want to do that to you right now. I have not given you ample time to prepare your butts or my butt for that matter. We haven't prepared our butts. Michael Dude, resub for six months. Thank you kindly. Just drove 400 miles in and out of torrential rain. Probably only a fraction of the danger you and Pat drove through. Have a good night. Hey, now, you know, danger is, it's, it's subjective, you know, like you also were in danger. I have also been in danger. We were both in danger. You don't, you don't need to put down your danger, you know? I'm, I miss that drive. We probably talk about how much we miss that drive at least once a day. <laughs> uh, we, we will probably, we will probably make a drive like that again uh, soon. Um, but this time we'll take our time, and I won't bust my ass to drive us across the country so that he can make a podcast where people are going to be mad at me. <laughs> like, it felt so bad. I was so sad, dude. Can I just say, not to be like, me, my, way, my pussy or anything, but I was I was super bummed. I was like, yeah, cool. You know, we're going to make it. Because Pat was like, why don't I just, why don't I just not, I, I can just cancel the podcast. You know, Wooly will understand. And we'll just, you know. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to, we're going to make it. I don't want to do that to the listeners, I don't want to do it. I want to make sure that you are there so you guys can, you guys can do the show. Um, and then I, and then people were mad and I felt, I felt bad. Well, I, I can understand why people were upset at first because I, I think they thought that we were trying to like fuck with Wooly, but like Wooly like texted me immediately af after with like a big congratulations. And he was, he was really happy for us and he completely understood why we like 
wanted to leave and all that shit. Like he he was not phased because because get this, there are some things called trains, planes, and autom automobiles where like, you know, we can hang out whenever, you know, well not whenever, but you know, you know, you know. But um, but I like I, I did understand at first. I was, I was like, yeah, okay, I can I can I can see what's going on there. But like, Wooly didn't care. He was like, well. <sighs> oh, oh, like I wasn't like no. I mean, I don't think I don't, I don't think anyone like canceled me for it. But people were like pretty mad um, that we moved without telling anyone. And 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 like, I mean, we we told like our parents, and that's it. Um, cause it, cause like, and then they were like, oh, do you know how many friends? And it's like, yeah, no, we like. Our, our friends mostly, like, most of my friends are all over, like, the fucking planet. You know, I, I, I do phone calls and and FaceTime all the time, you know? Like, what would they care? I'd be like, you know, it's the same same number. It's, it's me with, like, a different wall. You know what I mean? And Pat's buddies are mostly on Discord. And, you know, so we, we talk to all the same people. So... Um, but we, we weren't just like, let's hide it only from Wooly. It was just kind of like, nah. And, and there's like a multitude of reasons why we made that decision. Like, I don't know. Wooly seemed genuinely impressed that you two moved in such secrecy. He was. <laughs> I think he was. Because <laughs> like, I think people think that like, we just, I don't know. I think people think that Pat and I are big, like, oh, they're loud mouth drama queens. No, we like, Pat and I are actually really boring. Um, I, I hate, I hate to break the kayfabe, but we're pretty boring recluses. Um, and we have our friends and, and we just do our boring, weird hobbies and that's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Bruh. I, I think we're boring. I think. I think some some of the, some of the things that happen are like interesting or whatever, but I, f I feel like we're boring. Yeah, we just watch a bunch of X Files and you know and eat tacos. You know what I'm saying? My hobby is farting. It was funny to see his reaction. That's kind of the biggest reason we because I remember I remember sitting there and being like, should we fucking should we fucking tell Wooly? And Pat was like, eh, nah, it'll be it'll be funny for the podcast. Um. Because I, th I think Wooly has the best reactions. Uh, like, I love Wooly's react streams. I think he is so funny. How can I fart with no butthole? That's a great question. Um, I don't know. It's a mystery. Doctors are furious. They can't figure it out. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I am burpy, though. I will say that. And for rent day, we sub for two months. Looking for, blah, blah, blah. We're looking forward to your narration. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Burps are the farts of the mouth. It's true. Oh my god. Yeah, Reggie is a blessing. I love Reggie so much. I loved. I loved. Pa ah, okay. <laughs> that scared me. Sorry. There was like a. There was like a feather, from like I think a pillow or something on my leg, and I thought it was a spider, and I was frightened. Um. You know. Oh, how, f how far am I into disco? Uh, I haven't even taken down the body. So not... Eh. Not far at all. Yeah, Reggie is great. He's, like, such a sweetie pie. Like, what a what a sweetie patiti. Love him. Alrighty. Well, then. Shall we begin a video game? What do you, th what do you say? What do you say? Wow. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I'm still getting used to Pat's desk. It's completely different from... What I'm used to. Okay, I'm gonna see game no camera. Okay, let's let's see. Hello, let's frown. Good to see you, my dear. All right, I'm gonna let's see. Kablam! Wah! Test one two. Can you see the thing? It's probably choppy, but that's fine. Why do you keep banging your knee on the surface? It's not my knee. It's my hand. You know what I mean? Time for the sorry racist cop. Listen, I'm I'm not gonna be racist. I 
<laughs> I'm gonna, I am trying, <laughs> like, it's, this is, it makes me angry because it's like the fact that I have to literally try not to be racist makes me feel very uncomfortable and wonder what's wrong with me. But like, I'm not even trying. It just, shut up, Jobbed Bone. No, you, uh, you dingleberries, you stop it. Oh, that's the whole point. Oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking cry. Like I'm, I'm already getting tears in my eyes. It's fine. Hey, so uh, also guys, and I truly mean this, please do me a huge favor. I am blind in this game. Uh, I would really be so grateful if you would not um, spoil anything for myself or for chat, uh, just in case, cause there's a lot of blind, I almost had a lot of blind people in here. And hey, if you're a blind person in here, hello and welcome. Um, and maybe maybe there are a lot. Who knows? I'm I'm pretty blind, and that's fine. Dude, I I made Pat wear my glasses. I think I think it, he did so on stream, but I also had him in the house. And he's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And when I my glasses came in, I was mortified because like I was like, "Yeah, I vacuumed the floor so good," and then I saw like literally there's a spot. In the, in the kitchen that I was like oh my and I was mortified and I'm just like vacuuming for like an hour it's clean everything's perfect now but I was just like oh, it was a spot that Zangief likes to sit in anyway all right yes please 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 do not spoil and and also please don't allude to spoiling um or 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 you know what I mean or be like ooh, like spoiling but not spoil. you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying I trust you I'm gonna trust you I know that you're smart and cool continue you're smart and attractive all right i am talking to this racist man <laughs> i love i love how i'm like i'm not a racist anyway let's talk to this racist welcome to uh oh 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 okay i was like very confused does this stream have moderators yes uh and they have full, my full blessing to do whatever they need to do. So you guys be on your best behavior, please. Um, at some point, I am going to um, get more mods in here. Create more. Um, hold on one sec. Ah, num, 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 num. Okay. Ahem. Welcome, Nervous Roll announces the rotund demand. The remark isn't addressed to you. It's addressed to the lieutenant. Hey, I know Revachol. That's where we are. Don't you welcome to Revachol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000-year-old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in this city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post-war limbo. So we are in limbo. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Rivachol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I mean, I would almost be like, I guess that's conceivable, but then there's this here, which tells me that Kim... <laughs> I feel like, come on. Yeah, I hope Kim kicks his ass. Let's I go. know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here, that I should... Watch myself and behave. Good on you, Kim. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCM. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise Ooh. you to remember that. Ooh, I wish I could fucking snap my fingers. Silence. Ooh. The air between them becomes tense. Oh, God. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Now that's settled, we have a couple questions. Well, I think we all learned some things, Mal Lerman. Fucking A, Kim, I got your back. Give the lieutenant a punch on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. You do make a cute couple. You know that. Oh, okay. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. You sense slight embarrassment for the outburst. Or is it pride? Impossible to tell. Did I ever run into a guy like this back in Quebec? Uh, yeah, Pat's brother. <laughs> Straight up. No, no jokeroonies. Oh, she, god damn it in hell. Fuck my ass. Hold on. Don't fuck my ass. 
Nobody gets to. There we go. Okay. Eh. 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 Okay. Okay. Sorry. Everything's fine. Wait. Did what? Why is it? Anyway. <laughs> I was like, what? Why is everyone saying, uh oh? And I, re I realized that sounded a lot dire. Oh, and no one can see me. It probably sounded like I was getting my butt touched, wasn't it? No, it's fine. It's fine. I just broke something. You then slight embarrassment for the outburst, or is it pride? Impossible to tell. Now that's settled, we have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officer. He waits impassively, cigarette smoldering between his fingers. I have an ass for radio. Fuck you, Edward, but that's really good. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, it's good. Uh, da -da -da -da. I found this mug in the trash. Is this yours? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. He stares at the LMN mug. Look at that guy go. I haven't seen anything that funny in a while. Is it yours? God, man. He wipes tears from his Thanks eyes. for that, but no, it's not mine. What was that argument all about? Uh, it's about biological determinism, natural law, the sorting of the races. He spits on the ground. Not the most popular topic nowadays, with a coalition in charge and all. You might want to change the topic. That is, bury your head under the sand like common sheep. Hmm. Ooh, excuse me. So this is like you're fucking racist. And this is like, please explain to me how you are a racist, right? Does that... Like, is, is that how it's... Uh, <laughs> right? Please explain. Wait, oh, so you're racist. Uh, uh, no help? Because, like, this one is, like, oh, oh, that's going to make it seem like I want him to, this is going to make it seem like I, ah, oh, yes, tell me more. This is tell me more about your racisms. This is, hey, you are a racism. I don't know what this one, I will say you, you are a racist. I'm not just racist. Oh. Look, I've read books. Huh? The science of racial theory has all been proved. Even if uh, some people don't want to accept it. People who've studied these things say that uh, you and me are superior by design. So, uh, naturally, we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, you can see the merits in that. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm listening to him, but then I'm also reading chat. And as you know, that when I read, I can't hear. So give me just one second. <laughs> I'm not just I'm not just racist. Look, I've read books. He gestures with a cigarette. The science of racial theory has all been proved. Even if some people don't want to accept it, people who have studied these things say that you and me are glances at the lieutenant. So naturally we Occidentals should be in charge. Obviously, okay. Um <laughs> I can really tell you're a prime ex wait, I can't tell if this is sarcastic. Is this sarcastic? Please help. Like please please help. Okay. Yes, I can really tell you're a prime example of superior design. Open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn, maybe? Huh? When members of the superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority, they stop competing for resources. I, I don't know what's going on. I can't really understand him very well. His... Okay, open your eyes. Haven't you noticed something different lately? An unfortunate downturn. Members of the superior, superior race cease to believe in their innate superiority. They stop competing for superiority. Okay, and... The problem? The damn kips are showing a real good game lately. Same with the mosquitoes. And the other introduced species too. They're on the precipice of cultural victory. Oh yeah, that's the racist term, isn't it? He called them mosquitoes? Other intruder species. Wow. Uh, say nothing. It's true. Also, you need to realize the dangers of mixing races. Who knows what might happen if people don't stay in their first place? You might end up with a new sub-race with unknown characteristics. 
leading to extra competition. That's why you've got to control the offspring. Oh, I didn't realize that. Mesquitos is a slur because there's a there is a group of people called the Mesk, right? Or a or a place. Wow. Hold on. Itchy. Itchy ear. Okay, there we go. Wow. Uh, da -da -da -da. Wow. Sorry, I'm just I'm just digesting all this. Wow. <laughs> I think I could get down with that. Yeah, I'm not down with this. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Don't push your luck, Runt. The man gives you a disgusted look, then turns his attention elsewhere, ignoring your presence. I'm going to turn the game volume up a bit. Please let me know if that works. I might need to um, fix that again. Yes? Okay, he's okay. Let's talk to this a-hole again. For something, what are you hauling? Come to tell me to fuck off again? I mean, yes, but what are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. Uh, how long has this been going on then? The strike? <laughs> I'd have been at it for a while. A month. Two months, maybe. But this here is just the last week or so. What kind of cargo are you supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples? Yeah, apples. I take it you had other questions? He's given you the runaround. Let's be honest. You were bested. Hey, welcome back, Pat. I'm talking to the racist. Oh. Welcome to Revishol. Yeah. You you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. I got okay. everything done. Wow. Except for the dishes. Uh, they're not done yet. Oh, I, I don't need you to do the dishes. They're gonna they're gonna dry themselves. It's on self dry. Yeah, but you said what if they were done to put them away. Oh no oh no no no. I, I meant put the towels away. The dishes are fine. Just you can you can leave those. I'll take care of those later. Yeah, no, they're Okay. Alright. Eh, eh if you wanna come over, we would love to we'd love to hear you, Patty. My, my little patty cake. So, unfortunately, my rhetoric was not high enough. Let's see. Bummer. He's going to run around. You were, I was bested. We're done for now. Popular music mag. Most able-bodied men. Oh, what's this? Ooh, drugs. Thank you. Which I will take. So why does Freet have three T's? Yellow roses, dozens of them, tulips too. Aw, oh, I sent someone some yellow roses recently. It's a good, good flower. Melancholy pop song plays on the radio. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals 10 cents. What is this machine? Hmm? Oh, that's the tear machine. Yes, but what is it? It's a machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside like bottles or whatever and put it in the machine then it gives you money i see and how do i pick up the tear for the tear machine you need a bag i guess we used to have some but we gave them all out so do yellow roses have a special meaning uh yes actually um uh friendship for the most part that's that's one of the bigger ones so if you if you want to send flowers but you don't want it be you don't want it to be too romantic i recommend uh yellow flowers yeah, yellow flowers are not for banging. Yellow, well, not, uh, well, uh, uh, hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, are, what, are, are you going to be playing the steam while I'm here at the deck? Pl yeah. Playing the steam. You want playing the steam. That's true, I do. Da, 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 da. Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some out there. Somewhere. Leave. Ba, ba, ba. Well, let's see. Anything else in here? Anything from Kim? Yes. No. It's all that then. A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the shop wall, inviting you closer. Oh. There, in that dark green glass, all oh, by in the way, vain, fed water the great flowing feed, river cetera, of warmth, oh, wine, okay, alcohol, beer, alcohol, love, alcohol. So this is not a good place for a recovering addict. Say nothing, just take it all in. I am in heaven, I need it all so bad. Say nothing. The beauty, the truth, the poetry of it all. I'm obliged to inform you that both alcohol and cigarettes damage your health. 
She comments but as you eye the goods I behind her. Already know that. Oh, damn. Don't ask. Don't look. Don't do anything here. Just go away. Get back to work. Oh, why are these gold? Oh, it's because I don't have the money even? It's because you're fucking broke. Oh, okay. Hey, what do you got? I got $2. Wow. And it's fucking 5 p.m.? Is that bad? Where the fuck are you going to sleep, loser? Oh, shit. Well, wait, what What time am I supposed to have the money for? <laughs> fuck me. Oh, dude, where am I going to sleep? Uh... <laughs> Pat, now you've made me nervous. You've made me nervous. Where am I gonna wait? What time? What time do I need to have money by? Uh? Oh my god! I didn't. I didn't know. Oh, fuck. What do I do? Uh? I guess you'll just have to figure it out. But I don't have the pen. I gave it back to the lady because I'm stupid. Oh, that wasn't gonna cover it. Oh, tits. Tits. All right, fine. I've got this. Now you've made me nervous. Uh, all right, I'm getting out of here. See you. Right. What's all this? You see several Moral packaged support. raincoats fill a low shelf dick. beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. Can't I, like, shack up with Kim? What's that? What is what? The girl leans over the counter to um, see what you're referring to. It's a raincoat. Oh if you God. want to buy one, then it's only four real. Four dollars? She taps on the glass counter. The raincoats patiently await purchase. Jesus. All right, fine. Christ. Yeah, I'm a stupid cop. I can't believe. Oh, fuck. Oh, is that money? I need a bag. Where do I get bags? There's a man there. I can't talk to this man. Remember, Pat, if you're not actually talking to somebody, the time doesn't actually pass. Okay. Oh. Oh. For fuck's sake, I can't. The Greater Revishal Industrial. So you can explore to your heart's content. Oh really? Oh, well I'm so dumb. I'll just I'll just run around getting stuff. Fuck this. I'm not talking to anybody. Fuck you. Now they store booze. Money. Yeah, give me that money. Yeah, three dollars. Foreign car kept in good condition. What's is that something? No. Is there a pickpocket option? Oh, that's a good question. Thank you for money. All right. Hell yeah. I'm talking to fucking no one. Everybody go to hell. What the hell is this? Physical instrument. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, why not? Yeah, nice. Looking good. Oh. Looking good, looking good. An old monument. Stand. No. Not talking to anyone. Only for money. Human ox. Ruins full of snow. No one lives here anymore. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Wow, I love, I love the art in this game. It's really incredible. Okay, nobody talk to me. Can I go in here? Scott? Shit, walk away, get out of here. Fuck! What are you doing? Because I'm stupid, oh God. The man with jolly. Okay, it's this. Okay. I'm walking away. Yeah, no, just leave. Just leave. Just go. Oh, shit. Just leave. No, just go back. Just go. Just get out of here. Fuck. What are you, some kind of fucking scab? No, I. Ugh. Hold on. What's that? I'm just trying to dig up some stuff. How's the body doing? I don't know. I, I need to get it down. That's the problem. Fuck. That's the moral support I'm here for. Just Fountain doesn't you every water 40 anymore. minutes. Well, how's the body? Okay, here's... Okay. I remember these two uh, in my very, very, very first 
uh, Ron, like not rendezvous, my first like thing with this game, which was like an hour. I remember I immediately walked out here and talked to these two and all they did was talk my ass off and I was so bored. So I'm yeah, not- Yeah, they're the only two characters I actively dislike in the entire game. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near them. They just bitch about being old and the monarchy for hours. Well, I mean, that's fine and all. What is this? But like- Oh, you just missed a thought. I- oh, fuck. Hey, Banged up you... inoperable. What? Why are you running around so frantic? Cause I'm scared. Time isn't passing. <laughs> I know, but I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared now. This book has a rose, a pistol, and a half-naked dame on the cover. On the cover stands a very muscular man surrounded by flames. This book is about pate. Oh, this book, you don't really understand what it's about, nor does it seem important. It takes willpower to even read the author's name, Jean Caos, from Iguania. Book about the future. The government reads your mind using radio technology. A book about Boiradero culture. It promotes freedom and roaming upstream. I'm experiencing the stress of capitalism. Round about north. God damn it. Cape Side Apartments and Maison A's. If you had a bag in your hand, perhaps you could collect these bottles and sell them. Where can I get a fucking bag? Uh? Is that a bag? Oh my god. I'm gonna take this bag. Nice. You found it, guys. You hear the distant squall of seabirds. Fuck yes. Give me this fucking bag. Where is the bag? Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Eh. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Ten cent. This sucks. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm, there's no way that I'm going to be able to pick up $130 worth of trash. Shit sucks. Lonely cor cormorant surveys the sea, indifferent to your approach. Shit sucks. Oh, is that blood? this this is a wall Fuck. on the side of an apartment building Fuck that I'm not dealing with it hey Paige, I'm gonna have to go over oh, what, what's wrong oh. Oh, okay all right eh give me give me that yeah Oh, am I on the other side where... Oh, hey, yeah, nice. Thank you for this. How did a minute pass? Oh, it's because I looked at the thing. Garden hose. This won't be of use until the snow melts. It's been a week and now they show up. Chairs and tables eaten by rain and rot. Just a closed door, but you look at it suspiciously. Barrels are full of half, ooh, half full of rainwater. What is that? I want this. That looks cool. Oh yeah, there's that thing down there. Maybe I can get over there. Kim is a saint. What the fuck? What was that? Balcony with view to the yard and the hanging. So much for a quiet smoke. Oh. Smoke up there could be a witness. All right, I'll bother him later, right? Right in the dick, Kuno. Get him right in the dick. Um, golly. Inside the frame of a motorcycle in repair and the tools used to disassemble it. Disassemble it. Capeside Apartments. I mean, I guess I could shoot him down, right? Oh, cans. Give me those. Hey, up here, Pico. Give me those cans. Give me that can as well. God. 
Give me can. Also this can. Fuck. Do I have my gun? I do not have a gun. I do not have my gun. There was construction here once decades ago. I do not have my badge. Shit sucks. I ain't got shit, babe. Docking reserved residence of Ruda Sangas Lane 33A. What is that? Your room in the Whirling Inn isn't much bigger than this sloop. Oh. Shadows in the green water, green plants under the calm surface. All right. No, I know I can talk to people. I'm kind of just gathering bullshit right now. Belly, this boat shines like it was recently painted. I don't want time to pass. Do you think the badge ups your authority? Pro I assume. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I'm fr now I'm nervous. I have nowhere to stay. I'm broke and homeless. I don't even have f I don't even have five dollars. Uh, and I don't know where my gun is. This shit sucks. Where's the pawn shop? Twenty bucks. I suspect. Oh, okay. I am suspecting. I'm overthinking it. It's not that big of a deal. Really, time isn't an issue, even if I don't get the body down tonight or have a place to sleep. <laughs> like, is that all really okay? Ooh, it can't. And I smell... Jesus. Maybe a sea monster did this to the plaza. Damage looks like it was caused by an earthquake. Huh. Okay. Well. What is this? Nice. Oh. Don't worry about stuff too much. Ugh. Tell that to me. Like, all of the time. <laughs> I'm always worried. I'm a, I'm a fretter. There are clothes oh, inside. Fuck. Cheap second-hand clothes, smelling of strangers' body odors. Oh. Don't be shy. Fuck. These are premium class clothes. Good quality fabrics, best retro design. Save the economy with your style, officer. Oh, okay. Browse through the box. Find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments Ooh. made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. I hate polyester. Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand, buy second hand. Keep the economy moving. Hmm. You know, I will leave for now. Let me double check. Do I have anything that boosts composure? No. Do I have anything that hurts my composure? Okay, so the shoes are good. Tits. All right. I ain't got shit. Okay, so I need y'all to juice me. You keep coming back. Wait, That's where's my integration? Officer? Shit. Keep browsing those clothes. Keep saving Fuck. that economy. Let me text Pat. One second. Ugh. How do I make Twitch integration happen? Lol. I just texted him. Oh, I have to do that when I start the game? Tits. Okay, let me... I'll leave again for now. Shit balls. Whoa, what's happening? All right. Where... What the fuck was that? Right, save game. Save. Um, I'm trying to think. Check the options. Oh, hold on, Pat. Yeah, Pat. Do it through the menu and the Twitch extension on Twitch yourself. Fuck. I'm too stupid to accomplish these things. How menu? Okay. Exit the main menu. Options. Uh, hold, oh, fucking hold. <sighs> hey, Aota Corp. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, give me like two seconds. I know it is at the bottom, but I think there is a 
thing I need to put in that is private. So give me like literally two seconds, which also I will take that time to pee. So give me about two minutes. Sorry, be right back. Guys, can you hear me? <laughs> I'm trying to do this myself and I, I'm not completely understanding. Would you mind um, helping me? Um, I don't know where to uh, put in my Twitch token for Twitch integration. I don't. Do, no, not no help. I need help. Uh, please help. I'm embarrassed. The answer is not why. It's on the main menu. No, 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 I know. Uh, it looks like it needs to come from my, my Twitch, but I don't even know where to look. Check OBS should be in your profile. No, I don't I don't think that's it. It's it's specifically for Twitch. Uh, the extension is active. How I just need to turn it on. I know, but I need I need a token. And I don't I don't know where to get that specific token. No, I don't want to figure it out. I want to. I want you to help me so I can continue streaming. <laughs> like I don't want to dox myself. You know what I mean? Oh Christ! Hold. I gotta call Pat. I'm gonna text him. Sorry, sorry. Pat, please help. No, I know, guys. No, I. I really need the help. Like I need. I. I want to fix this so that we can continue. No, I'm not I'm not saying give me the private code. Can you tell me where to find the code? Main menu. No, no. Again, I know that's where it is. It then it says enter Twitch token. I don't know where that is though. <sighs> Thank you, job to bone. It's in the dashboard. Okay. Sorry. I'm I'm too stupid to live, I guess. Hold on. Please hold. Okay, where where in the dashboard? There's like, there's so much here. Oh, in the extensions maybe. There's like eight hundred things here. Oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. I there's so much here, Pat. I. I oh wait, my extensions. There we go. Okay, there. Okay, f there. Okay, yes. Why? Why won't it? Activated. It says it's activated. <sighs> I'm sorry. This is embarrassing. I should be able to do this myself. Why? Oh, God. What the hell? Oh, did I? Did I accidentally set into slow mode? What? Ha what's happening? No, I didn't. Okay. Sorry. Again, this is why I, I hate streaming with Pat's stuff, because I'm very nervous and... Oh, fuck. I'm nervous and confused. <laughs> um, okay. So, it's in the extension, and I go to... This is so embarrassing. Extensions. My extensions. There it is. It says it's activated, but then I go over to the menu in disco and it's like enter your token where the fuck would it oh oh aha i found it okay there we go i did it okay jesus like i understand why 
but it just doesn't it just doesn't have to be this complicated okay like I I do understand why but at the same time uh, let's see okay well, let's try that did it work What? Wait, no, no, no. Invalid. Incredible. All right, let's try it again. They, oh, that's why. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay. Connection established. I did it. I have done it. Oh. There's no reason for that to be as incredibly stressful. Ah, uh, there's no reason for it to be that complicated. And I'm just, I'm just not smart enough for this. You've never felt so connected. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, great. I've done it. Okay, do you see, wait, where's the, where's the thing I can ask questions though? Like, do you see? Oh, oh, you can't see, God damn it. Okay, okay, ready? Kablam. Okay, you, there's normally a thing here, right? Can you see my mouse? Do I need to restart, maybe? It is there? No, no, this is here. No, there's usually another thing there. You know what I mean? It doesn't show up unless I'm in a dialogue. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, great, thanks. Thanks, guys, I appreciate it. You keep coming back. That's good, officer. Keep browsing those clothes. Keep saving that economy. Okay. Sorry about that. That was incredibly embarrassing. Thanks for watching me. Eh. Eh, okay. Will you do me the honor of giving me the juice? Give me the juice. Give. Please give juice. I require juice for composure, please. Thank you. Did you guys give me less? You dingleberries. <laughs> Did you give me less? <sighs> yes, yeah, suck it anyway. Suck Synthetic it anyway. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Surf, it says, but also wind. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. I did not tell you what to do. It's true. I fucked up. That was on me. All in different typefaces. Ah, that was on me. That was on me. No, yeah. <laughs> Something grazes my Good hand. Choice, officer. Mega sporty, and it's only four fifty for oh you. Oh no! I want to buy it, but I only have kind of that amount. Like I only have four dollars and sixty-five real, and there's four dollars and fifty real. What do I do? Is it a good one? Is this one I should probably buy? It gives me composure? Fuck. Ooh, composure. That is good. All right, I'll buy it later. I'll buy it later. I'll buy it later. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Ooh. Auto saving. That's not, probably not good. Helpline to the company that controls the drawbridge. I don't have a trash can. Come, come on, boys. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. Ooh, fingerless gloves. Nice. Okay, hold on. Interfacing versus electrochemistry. Ooh la la. Um. I forget what interfacing is for exactly. I don't remember. Balls. Balls. Gimme. Yee. Yeah. Thank you. Wait, no. Can I pick up these cans? Eh. 
Yes, I can. I have so much money. Fingerless gloves. What was that song where it's like fingerless gloves? I think by Lon Lonely Island. Oh, well, there's just like some guy. Water lock out of order until Wednesday at 7 15. Pawn shop. Nice. What's that? Ooh. Thank you for that. Now let's pop in. I'll bet you anything my gun or my badge, possibly both, are in here. Mostly military wear with a few more eccentric fashions thrown in. A typical Martinez streetlight sits among assorted floor and table lamps. Um, I'm going to interact with that later. If you guys don't mind, I just want to get, like, my bearings on stuff. You see rows of toy soldiers guarding the rest of the trinkets displayed on the table. Some on horseback, others in rags, others yet in bright blue uniforms. All are stern and unyielding in their duty. Ooh, there's an F plus hoodie? Try to find something pretty and cool here. Ooh. Then use it to win her back. Her. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna do all this later. I just wanna see if With Bust of a Woman in Black simply says DEI in the dark, a film projector whirs away. This is a cool shop, I will say. Oh, fuck balls. All right. See, Pat has inst- Like, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna relax. And then he, like, told me that I've got nowhere to stay and shit. And I don't even have the- And everyone keeps asking, I don't have the body down. And I'm embarrassed. I'm scared. <laughs> Please, please send prayers and thoughts. Mostly thoughts, please. We all love thoughts. A hot air rises from the sewer. Sour, acidic, and strangely comforting. Ooh, a garbage can. Four minutes have passed since he told you that. Uh. All right. And there you are, Kim. Come on. Oh, wait. I know what I want to do. I want to see something. Because I have that crowbar. And there was uh, some bullshit over here I wanted to see. God, I love... I forgot how much I love streaming. <laughs> I love talking to you guys. Thanks for hanging out. This is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Thanks for being patient with me. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing <sighs> material Etonite. Perception. I don't have anything to give me good perception, do I? I am having fun. Thanks to you guys. Thank you. Because I can like, I can play video games any old fucking time. But for people to actually sit there and listen to me drivel, only you can do that. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's not true. I, you know, my, my friends and Pat will listen to me talk bullshit. But, you know, it's, 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 it's fun to talk shit with, like, a whole group of people, you know? Um... I can you, I can find items later that help with the rolls. Oh, oh thanks, our dark suit. I appreciate you. All right, uh, will you guys juice me with some perception, please? I am. I can't see. Would you mind giving me some sweet perception just to see if I can make it? Juice me, please. You have fifteen seconds to juice. Fifteen seconds to juice, please. I require that the juice. Be loose, please. I I ask that the juice be loose. Thank you. Thank you for juice. Because Fuck. it's nice and orderly, well laid palettes, <sighs> easy on the eyes. Yeah, well, alas. Thank no, you for juice. There's more oh. to this. You get this strange feeling. What feeling? Hard to say. It's gone now. Feelings pass, you see, especially the small ones. Uh, oh, that's so annoying. Um, is it possible to use the crowbar on it? That's what I want to know. If I have the crowbar in my hand, can I like wrench that shit open? Is this one of those things where I have to have it in my hand? An inconspicuous pile. Boss axe. Of 
I mean, a big thing like that seems like you should be able to, like, whack it open. Oh, I feel so bad. I need to get this the down. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and white boots. It's of course. You have come back late. <sighs> so do I, I have to talk to the people? Yes. At the, um, union to get it down? Or is there, is there another way to activate another way I did commit already tits I did not try shooting it down I did not uh, I cannot shoot it oh, ball sex I did not shoot it because I do not have my gun and alas oh, I'm so mad what is is that anything or is that just a weird yellow thing what is that no nothing There are several footprints in the mud left by work oh, boots. Tits. All right. Come on. Come on, then. It's okay, Kingra. It's fine. Don't worry about it, dude. It's okay. I appreciate it, though. Okay. All right. Okay. I've got my shit together. I'm going to go deposit, I guess, the, the trash in the thing. Wait, hold on. Is this... No, I can't activate. Oh, no, that's whirling in rags. Jesus Christ on a cracker. Here we go. What? I think you're cute. What do you mean? Did I, did I say you weren't cute? Ow, oh, God damn it. Oh, I keep dropping everything. Hold on one second. Fuck. God, my back. Okay, excuse me. All right. Let's go to the machine. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals 10 cents. Insert Your bottle. bottles clunk into the machine. Wow. And the money appears with a satisfying jingle. You're a richer man now. How am I supposed to come up with this amount of money? It's not even $2. Work shift ends at 9, but after hours I can mess around at night. Uh, all right. All right, I better talk to all these fuckos, huh? All right, let's talk to this guy, I guess. Bastards! We have a right to work! The man yells towards the harbor gates. His voice is the loudest of the lot and oddly screechy for a man his size. What's going on here? Hold up and stay frosty, everyone. Cops are here. The broad-shouldered alpha male turns to you. He's a full head taller than everyone else here. You here to fuck with us? Beat the honest worker down. Why should I? We're here to fight for a cause. Stripes usually have problems with people who have causes. Okay, then I'm thinking no. Good. We're fighting for a cause here. Right to work! Right to work! Besides, we're not that different. It helps closer. if people see us talking, cops and strike breakers together. Shows authorities are on our side. Builds confidence. What kind of cause are we talking about? Rights of people. Rights of workers. To have gainful employment. To make a salary. And feed their families. Might be time. I don't think I've chosen sides yet. Let the tread on you. Cops tend to side with the higher ups, but you're essentially still workers. I don't trust true. cops, but I can see you understand. Them. He raises his voice right and chants. Right to work! Right to work! Regardless, I have some questions for you. Maybe you should ask them the questions, like why we're not allowed to make a living here. Shame on you! We have families to feed, you piece of shit. He points his finger at the man sitting on the railing. So do we, Scott. The loitering man hollers in return. Oh, I see. So he's... So I'm confused. So these are... These are... Oh, I understand. So these are these... Are these the scabs and the guys over here are union? Okay, so these are... Okay, I see. So do we scab. The loitering man hollers in return. I want to get into the harbor too. What is a strike? 
for all these strike breakers. What is a strike? When a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act together, decide mm. to block honest work for other people. He shifts uncomfortably in his worker overalls. Eh. Dovadude says, union on strike work for work blah, blah. union on strike for better work stuff. Scabs want to work but are locked out of the job site. Got it. Thank you. And a bunch of uh, what do the strikers want? Beats me. They mumble nonsense about board rules and workers' rights. While we He raises his fist. Have the right to work. There's something odd in the way he carries himself. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of the attire seem ill-fitting. Ill-fitting? What does that mean? His shirt is far too small and an unpleasantly tight fit, while the overalls held up by a belt seem to fit a man with much more corpulence. Are you wearing new clothes? He ignores your question, choosing instead to turn to the emaciated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes are obviously oh, not see. his. Silence is the answer. There's something off here, but he won't say what. I want to get into the harbor too. Have fun. He snorts. Union shits are on full strike. Don't think they're going to let you through the gates. I'm trying to meet their fat boss. I'm interviewing people about a murder that took place behind the hostile cafeteria. This is an official matter not to be discussed with outsiders. Right to work! He again shakes his fist and turns it's back shameful. to you. Cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, open up the gates for us. Blockading gainful employment for workers is a crime. He's shameful cops doing nothing. You should bring back up, open the gates for us, blockading. This isn't really my area of expertise. We are not picking a side in this just yet, sir. Pity. He turns around. Let us work! Who are all these strike breakers? Honest men and women with rights to work, to be useful. Not toys for corporate interests. The man runs a hand through his steadily graying military haircut. We came here to help the harbor run smoothly in time of crisis. If union fucks don't want work, they ought to let in those who do want work. I have a question. The lieutenant looks Why in the eye. Why do all these men follow your leadership? You think they follow because I'm big and loud? No, they follow the rules of the market, the rules of the economy, because they were... Given a job to do! You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. Okay, I gotta ask. Where exactly are you from? What's it to you? Deep set suspicion drips from every syllable. Uh, curiosity, can figure out this strike mask, routine, part of the investigation. I thought you looked real familiar for something. Cure, routine, part of the investigation. Am I a suspect? His eyes narrow. Done no crimes. I only fight for the rights of people. I already got that. I'm interested in your background. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain in Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. So, I gotta tell you, this guy is suspicious as fuck, and it's not just because of the clothes. He doesn't have an accent. Like, He's the only one who doesn't have the accent of, that everyone else I have talked to has, right? The fact that his clothes don't fit is also weird. Which, hey, you know, hey, you know, hey, you know, maybe, you know, I don't, you know, who knows? A bouncer where I frequent a lot of bars. Maybe it's one I know. Oh, fair. Sweet, I know bars. Been thrown out of several. Maybe that's why you seem familiar. I don't really drink, but work has taken me to some. Which one was it? Maybe it's one I know. Worked at Territorial. Ring a bell. Ring a bell. Never heard of it. Are you lying? Yeah, I think I've been there. Not right now, but I might have been there. I don't remember things well. Never heard of it. What do you mean doing d actual detecting work? I got, I got some brains. I got, I got brains. Never heard of uh, what do I, how, how do I want to approach this? I heard of it. We're done here. Damn it. I have a strike to break. 
He squints at you, a little spark of violence gutters in his eyes, then he blinks and turns to his men. Right to work. Right the ostensible to leader work. of those strike breakers chants. Hey, tough guy, I had more questions. Things are busy enough. You're going to waste less of my time? He looks annoyed. We'll see. The Hulking Man oozes stark skepticism. What exactly is your goal here? We were promised work. He points at the We'd gates. Be in there. Working. Working. If the bastards hadn't shut the gates. Then you are unable to breach the entrance. The main gate's locked. It would take heavy ordnance to bust it open and try to get in through the secretary's office. He points up the stairs. Doors locked. The guards blocking the way to the access panel. And I don't mean the scrawny nest punk either. He points I the dog mean worker. head measurer. Or what? whatever he is. Head measurer. I don't mean the scrawny nest punk. Dog worker. Head measurer. Huge Seminese guy standing up there on the overhead passage. Won't let anyone by. The access panel is right behind. How bad could one there? How bad could one guy be? You seem capable. Bad. The man Standing on a narrow bridge, he's got a strategically advantageous position. And he's trained. I don't know how the Union has a trained killer up there. But that one's no joke. And my men are tired and hungry. They're workers, not fighters. Have you ever considered storming in like all of you? Why don't you just talk to them? Like civilized folk, you mean? The man rubs his These chin. native box don't understand civilized. Okay. It would be better for the neighborhood if you went home, at least for now, if you can't get in anyway. No. They will give up eventually. Or get drunk. Leave the button unguarded. Then we charge. The man rubs his jaw, a perfect, lightly bearded square wedge. Hold on, let me... We were promised work. And you're able to breach. Lock, and I don't mean the scrawny men. Have you considered either. storming in like all Why of you? Why don't you go arrest them instead? I'm sure they've done plenty of criminal shit. They have that look. Mm -hmm. It would be better for the neighborhood. Oh, yeah, the same thing. No. Okay, they I'm just going to leave. See ya. All right, looks like I got to come up here and talk to this fella. Hello. You escape now? The man with jolly eyes winks at you. What exactly is a scab? A kind of a worm. Oh. Content with mere survival. They come, they want to do our job for shittier pay, screwing over both themselves and us. Everybody loses. Where did they all come from? It's me. Somewhere in the ground, I think. You don't seem to like them much. Gotta be bloody stupid or freaking evil to scab. Or I guess scared, maybe. But scared of what? Of who? He looks at the mask, squinting his eyes as if at, to ascertain what they're scared of. Personally, I'd rather beg than scab. If the gentleman shouting on the street came begging, maybe they'd have gotten something. Have you tried talking to them? We've explained the matters, but they don't listen. This lot would be reasonable and go home if the big guy wasn't riling them up all the time. I'm not a scab, I'm a cop. I was just messing with you. His smile deepens. No one's ever seen a cop scab. Imagine, you cops going on a strike, but then another cop comes in and says, let us cop for less money. He <laughs> chuckles and then realizes. Speaking of, what brings the RCM here? To the wild north? Come to see the strife? <laughs> a picture of money. Uh, I've come to Martinez investigating a murder. Murder, huh? That sounds like a lot of hard work. You'd never see me investigating a murder. It's actually fun and easy. You're right, it's almost impossible. I'm 91% sure it'll never get solved. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, it's actually very fun and easy. I don't believe you. <laughs> Post Laventoria said the same thing. They tried to get me to be their postman. So fun, so easy, they said. It's just walking. He shakes his head at the memory. It wasn't. I'm doing much better here at the harbor. Being an honest union man with a lot of free time on his hands. I'm looking for assistance with a dead body situation. Body still hanging in the tree? He rubs his chin. Hey, that's a rough pickle. Can't help you with that, sorry. Tits. I'm not really an admirer of dead bodies. <laughs> Might be someone else from the Union can render assistance. He shrugs. Does this mean you can let me through the gate? I don't operate in that capacity. I'm not a granter of passage. He takes a swig and points. grants oh. itself. <laughs> grants itself, huh? Beneath the jolliness, he suddenly seems doubtful. That simple? I just walk in? I walk right past Measurehead, 
and go in. Past measure had. Yeah, the two and a half meter tall Semini Supremas is there. Oh, he points. Walk right past him. He won't points to the bridge above the gates. Right. Then press the button to unlock the door. Then go past him again. Okay. And you enter the arbor through the office. Está. Hmm, for some reason, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that easy. Don't worry, I'm sure it's not completely impossible. For example, you could best measure head in a physical confrontation. Or you could convert to a semi supremacist worldview. Or... Hmm, he strokes his mustache. Maybe it actually is completely impossible. Has anyone here ever bested him in a physical confrontation? Not yet, no. He fixes his eyes on you. He's incredibly strong. Has any of the scabs tried converting to his worldview? John Luke himself would say the philosophy has proven overly heroic for the scabs to convert to. Not enough intuition. Got it. Another sure. thing. What's the strike about anyway? You know, serious business. He smiles. I'm sure the big boss will be glad to tell you. You'll have to ask him first. He's a chatty guy. Wants to talk about the strike. Return once you've met the union boss and are on a better footing hmm. with the organization. I'm a bit short on money. Can you give me? Sure thing, my friend. Oh. I can help you out. He flips a coin towards you. Can you guys give me some juice for hand-eye coordination? Can you give me that juice? Can you give me that juice? That yellow hand-eye coordination. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me the juice. Motorix, Motorix, give me the juice. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. I'm not gonna ask every time. It's just when it's even or impossible. <laughs> Give me that juice. Yeah, let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The coin ah. merrily slips by your outstretched fingers. Thanks anyway, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to throw it like that. It's a thing we harbor folk do, passing around cargo inside. I bet. It was not meant as provocation or ridicule. Mm -hmm. The boy Adero stares at you with respect. Appreciate it. gestures towards the... Right, always glad to help out the RCM. We're on the same branch, you and I. Humans, I mean, not slithery scabs. Nice talk. Gotta get moving. See ya. Alright. How? Oh shit, how close was the roll? Fuck, I didn't. In case of a strike, press button behind the guard. Hermetically sealed door locked by electronic means. No lock picking or door kicking on this one. betrays your degeneracy. Yeah, Measurehead. His body totally betrays his degeneracy. The young woman at the giant side agrees. Hold on, I might... Oh, did I... Cons oh. Oh, oh, I see, I see. I'm okay. Don't say anything. Size him up first. My body's unimportant. I'm with the police and we need to get in the harbor. My body does not betray my degeneracy. What do you mean my body betrays my degeneracy? Say nothing and size them up. Are you admiring my morphophysiology? A ripple of muscle passes underneath his skin. He lets you look. It must be frightening to stand in the shadow of this racial pinacle. Oh, boy. Be calm. I'm sandwiched. You're sandwiched. You are no. not in danger. Because you are not a threat to me. Oh boy. Okay, I'm not gonna puff my chest out. Because I don't want to get my shit rocked. Uh, my body is unimportant. I'm with the police. We need to get to the harbor. That is precisely the negligence that has led you to succumb to Al Ghul. Al Ghul? His face contorts in disgust, as if he was smelling a dead rat. You reek of it. An invisible sword of Alhul emerges from your throat. Oh, alcohol. You cannot see it, but others can. It is making the woman in my company sick. Kim, is it really so bad? <gasps> it's not good. Oh. It's like a rat crawled into your stomach, got drunk and drowned. You're right. I'm an alcoholic, and I need that dead body to no longer be in that tree. No, you don't. You need to get another drink, 
Occidental Upload Group B4 is done given orders around here. The influence of the Am Sandwich race is waning. Oh, I see. Show him the ham still got it. Because I think the ham sandwich race still got it in. <laughs> Jesus. I'm the police and I need you to comply now. Take a step closer. The race stuff is unimportant here. I just need you to do my job. Um, oh. None of this is going to work. This guy is just an a-hole. Because if I say, if I'm like, yeah, that he's going to take that as a challenge. If I say this, I'll get my shit rocked, probably. And this, he'll just say fuck off. So, uh, I think this ham sandwich race does it isn't. Willingly yeah. calling yourself <laughs> ham sandwich. How far the Occidental Ablo group has fallen. He pauses. In you were once a noble and powerful race. You gave the world eugenics, electricity, and powerful weapons of war like missiles and aerostatic aircraft. You made great gains in metallurgy, race theory, and statecraft. You dominated lesser cultures like I'm the talking deformed to Indians head, babe. and the inexplicably potato-obsessed Koikos. But now your ascent to well. the genetic summit has halted. You are obsessed with sadness and with frivolous pop culture. Hey, we love sadness and frivolous pop culture. You will be superseded. <laughs> Isn't that right, babe? It is, baby. Yeah, you know it. Oh, that's so interesting. Her portrait is her and he's like right there with her. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. In any other portrait, it's always just the person. I don't know if I've seen one where, like, the other person is there. Also, I'm very interested. He's super, like, his race is the best race, but I'm pretty sure, and maybe this is, she does not appear to be the same. I, I guess she just kind of says, yeah, you are super right. Uh, I don't know. Very curious. There is a button right behind him, just out of reach. It must be the one that opens the door to the harbor. This man is not budging. Let's hope his superiors inside are more cooperative. Just need to move 20 centimeters back now. Push him out of the way that it's not happening. <laughs> He's going to kick my ass. You're right about this. Now I need you to help me get that corpse down. Uh, that's going to make Kim hate me. It was your people who put that dead body up there. Your people should help me get it down. Ooh, see, but that's going to come off like your people. You know what I'm saying? That's going to come off real bad. Uh, 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 that's going to come off poorly, isn't it? You doing okay? Why are you on the floor? Are you all right? Is there anything? In, do you need anything? Do you want to need anything to drink or? I hate, Pat, I hate when you do that. I hate when I'm like, oh, what's the matter? And you're like, I will now begin a sentence, but then I will stop it and go, never mind. Did you, do you want me to, do you want me to take a break? I got to pee. No, no, I'm good. Okay, do you want tea? Yeah, not really. It's weak. I know, but I can make you weak tea. Yeah. Let's frown. I do, I, just because I have a mug doesn't mean that I'm a full racist. <laughs> I am not going to punch this guy. He's going to eat me, beat me to, to, pulp he's so tall although i think the other guy might be taller measure head what a cool name all right um let me let me think all right here you guys tell me what you want me to say vote what do you what do you want me to do show him the mug god give me give me your juice i'm not gonna push him out of the way Guys, I'm, I'm not doing that. He's, he's gonna, I'm going to die. Look, I only got two of these. You see that? I got two. All right, I'll say this. It was your people who put that dead body up there. Your people should help me get it down. Enough with this begging. You should leave the stage of yeah. history with dignity by inviting Oh, measure heads of phrenology reference? Oh, wow. Oh yes! Oh my God! It is. I did. That didn't even occur to me, Pat. That's crazy. I, I played through the game like one and a half times. I never, never put it together. 
That's totally wild. Uh, da -da -da, you should leave the stage. Bring your troops to the Simenine Islands and to Boogie Street, and we will pulverize you. When you are gone, we will build a museum for you. The walls will be lined with bottles of Al Ghul, your beloved beverage. Inside, we will store the oaths to homosexuality you call art, and your microcephalic skulls. Oh, excuse me. Wow, I could rock his skull? There's actually a chance. 17%, but I also, uh, yeah, there is a chance that I could kick his ass. Can you imagine? You serve the union, don't you? Aren't they dot, 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 white? Know anything about this mug? Know anything about this mug? If I show him the, okay, is, is Kim going to be mad because I have the mug and keep showing it to people? A couple. I showed it. I showed it to the racist Lori. He thought it was great, didn't he? He thought it was funny. Yeah. Well, I'm asking if it if it's his mug. Uh, God, I hate this mug. I wish I never grabbed this mug. Yeah, you keep showing it to me. <sighs> what are these tattoos you're supposed to mean? The racists are generally not very good examples of their race. He gestures towards the Loriman down the street. Wait, you're a ra I, well, you're racist. I am. Oh, like them. of course. I am craniometric perfection. I have taken the trouble to permanently draw a phrenologic grid on my skull and features. This should dispel any doubt. Wow. You sure I'm not craniometrically superior to you? You're right. That's craniometric perfection. My race does not stand a chance. I'm going to say nothing. Your silence betrays your inferiority. <sighs> You do not have a reply. You should enter a deep race lumber. Perhaps in 4,000 years, there is need for a servile homunculus. Ow. Oh, no wonder my arm's been hurting. I had a scrunchie all the way up my arm and now there's a huge indent. Ow, I'm so dumb. Like, why does my arm hurt so bad? You serve the union, don't you? Aren't they dot, 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 white? Oh, don't be vulgar. White or not has got little to do with this. What? The race enigma runs much deeper than that. He turns his eyes towards the harbor, seemingly bored with you. There must be some friction there. He's keeping it well hidden, however. Yeah, but you still serve them. How does that factor into your life? Mr. Claire is a man of vision and means. He has the will to confront polycultural capital. Something your race, naivistic communists, never did. Also, to serve is noble. It takes discipline. Your petulant individualism has only contributed to your race failure. It is lax and moronic. I'm no communist. Communism is pretty cool. Individualism is my jam. My jam is a mysterious fourth thing. Yeah. Jam. Individualism. You have gotten these ideas from degenerate youth culture, have you not? You have picked them up from rock and roll songs? Hmm, I got it from disco, actually. It's true, I'm a rock and roll star and a rebel. Youth culture does not affect my thinking. Uh... I'll say disco. Offshoots of the Seminese people invented disco while having sex under the influence of cocaine. They sure did. It is a shame upon my race. Oh, always talk about, but oh. what is done is done. Disco rules. Sex and cocaine. I am not surprised you enjoy it so much. Oh. This has happened to many of the side products of the inevitable cultural victory of the Seminese race. Oh, boy. I don't really know who the Seminese are. I've recently experienced head trauma. I can see that. <laughs> the Seminese are the South Island race. Aplogroup A4A. 
The rightful masters of the Insulindian archipelago. We descend from the Areopagites of ancient Pericarnassus and arrived here 4,000 years ago. We are the future. That is all you need to know. So you were born and raised on the islands before you moved to Revachol. I am a descendant. The narrow streets of Ulumbuir are with me in my genetic dreams. I see young Simonese women walk into the Grey Mass on Ile de Fontaine, waiting on immaculate conception from the pay. Oh. So you did not come from the islands. No. He cranes his head. I have heard about it on the radio. What? I'm confused. You would be appreciative if you did not further chase this line of inquiry in front of the women. So you're not really Seminese, you're from Revachol. I'm from Kuron. He changes tactics. And no, it is not just in Revachol. The city is central to the Simony strategy. Spreading through its trade networks, our culture will dominate the world. You have heard enough about our phylogenetic secrets for today. You have extinction to come to terms with. And never getting that dead body down from the tree. Kim, what do you think about this? I think this racist is better than the last. But the next racist will be the really good one. How do you know there'll be a next racist? There always is. Ah. Uh, Race is reality. There always is. Okay. I have a couple of options. I can ask, do you know anything about the mug? I can use conceptualization to subscribe to his advanced race theory at 58%, or I can try to knock him out at 17%, potentially with juice from the chat, which... Yeah, I did. Thank you. What do you... What should I do? Will the mug make him hate me? What? I... Uh, know anything about this mug? He does not so much as glance at the object. This your kind of thing? put this into the trash lately? Stop showing me your pathetic oh. cup. I have no interest in it. Alright, I'm gonna knock him out. I think I'm gonna try to knock him out. Will you guys help me? Are you gonna help me knock out this man? There's no way I'm gonna make it, but... Will you give me the boost? Here we go. Give me the boost. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. Do I have any points? Oh shit, I probably should have done that beforehand. Fuck. Physical instrument? Tits. Uh, no, I don't. Ball sacks. Shit. Alright. I should wait? I'm gonna do it. Can I do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for it. Uh-oh. <gasps> uh. How did this happen? Your little fist is in his giant hand, and he's squeezing it. It hurts. You must be out of your How mind, degenerate drunk. How could this be? Say it. I am a degenerate alcoholic. <sighs> he's gonna break my fucking hand if I don't comply. But I don't want to admit that I'm a degenerate alcoholic. Uh, I do. I have the tank top on right now. Yeah. What do you mean keys? Which keys? Which keys? The real keys or the keys in the game? What do you mean where my real keys are? Uh, 
I, I think you have to, it's the, it is attached to the trunk, I think. Fuck. I do still have meds. Does my, is he gonna break my hand to the point where it's unusable? Or is he just gonna knock down my thing one? Okay. I don't know, this seems important. I'm a degenerate alcoholic. Good. Now leave before you humiliate your homoerotic organization any further. Okay, I'll come back. We still need to get into the harbor. We need help with the tree situation. There must be another way. His gaze wanders over the whirling roofs to the yard. Fuck, dude. I am like... Oh. Some kind of superstar. They say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, fuck off and die, in a cool voice. <laughs> you people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists, or prime ministers, or prophets. And you're the first one. Yeah, I love this. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. I'm in. I love it. We love that. Excellent. I'm a superstar. Oh my god, get Gianni! Thank you so much for the raid. Hello! Hello, raiders. And thank you, Gianni. Uh, I just got my shit fucking wrecked by Measurehead. Fucking beat my ass and I'm... Terribly embarrassed, but welcome. I'd you didn't force us into a situation <laughs> oh, where fuck. they have to shoot random civilians, because that won't get us anywhere. It's true. It's true. Oh, thank you, Johnny. Much obliged. I appreciate it. Sorry, Kim. I'm, I'm not even sure the one bullet my chamber holds would even prick that hook. But he's trying to provoke me. Okay, I was trying to assert my dominance, but I was fighting bad and save your idol ideologies. I'm a hero. How else are we gonna get through the gates? Yeah, I, I was I was being a big we man. We are not here on some political quest. We are here to solve a crime. Don't make the situation any more volatile than it already is. But how else are we going to get through the there gates? There must be some other way. Let's go see the yard again. It faces the other end of the harbor. We're done with measure head here. Oh, no problem, Johnny. Take it easy. Oh, I should VIP Johnny. That's a great idea. Boop. There you go. Yeah. Oh no, he thinks I'm a white savior. No! God. Oh, I was trying to assert my dominance. We are not here on some political quest. We are here to solve oh, a problem. But he was trying to provoke and me. And you're just going to let him manipulate you like that? Oh, he raises an eyebrow. All right, fine. I won't do it again. Let's think of something else. No, no. <gasps> no, you, no should you should. Oh. Do it again. It's the last thing he'll be expecting. Oh boy. Oh, what's this? It's clear you like the hard stuff, Bruta. Huh? What is my lower intestine going on about? Lower intestine? The term is metabolic and circulatory system. Okay, but what's the hard stuff? Fascism, Bruta. What is fascism, though? Many things, but it's mostly about trusting your gut. Who does your gut tell you is the source of Rivershaw's problem? Uh, I thought you were my circulatory Quit system. Stalling, oh, Bruta. we're talking about the weakest, worst, most insane thing. Mug, huh? Oh, the fuck you link. with the mug! God damn it! Okay, so he want he wants me to say what's the problem with Revishal? Foreigners, financiers, leftist ac ac academicians. I can't talk, and liberals. Um. Fin financiers? I mean... <sighs> so is your gut, Paige. The liberals or the foreigners? Well, what do they mean by financiers? Bankers. Fake bankers? Yeah. Okay, so it's foreigners, bankers... 
Aren't these kind of the same? Leftist academic... Ac what is... What is that? Like, I don't even know... Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, I'm confused. So, what is it? Sorry. What is an academic? Ac ac what is an academic? Ac okay, so. Foreigners, bankers, teachers, and liberals? Why did I not like I I like I've never heard academician before. I've always heard of like academia. Right, you're stalling. Yes, I am stalling. I'm trying to think with my brain. Just who do you hate more, the foreigns or the banks? <laughs> or college people? Or liberals. or liberals? Oh God. Uh, I guess the, I guess the bankers. Yes, them. But also. But also. I mean, but also women. 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 Men of war, you what? don't like them. They're insane. Oh no. Their idiocy needs to be scrubbed oh. off this world with rubbing oh, alcohol. No. Woo men need to go back to the fucking kitchen. Oh. That's what fascism boils down to. The rest is also important. But the main thing is that woo men need to know their place. Am I having some kind of stomach seizure? Stomach truth. You're having a stomach. Truth. Why am I getting this? Because you've said the hard things that others won't say. The good things. You've said them many times. Fascism sounds so bad, though. What if we called it something else? Like a traditionalism? Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's call that good thinking. Okay, stomach. Okay, stomach. I've made up my mind about fascism. You're going to keep your voos, right? Keep your voos, Brota. Oh, here's my... Wait, so... Being a f is this wait is this fascism? Cause like, really? well no no the question <laughs> the question is why is he talking about women? Wouldn't this be misogyny? I'm confused. I'm con <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what is happening? I do. My my voos I don't think he did. I'm very conf you know, I'm just I'm just not in it. Absolutely not. I'm not gonna be played by an upset tum tum. There's a slow, painful growl. I'm very confused. Wait, why is everyone mad? Do not start with me. Yeah, did you end up being a fascist racist man? No, I went full communist shitbag. <sighs> and I opted right to fuck in instantly. <sighs> It is one of betrayal and disappointment. I am so baffled. You won't be a sorry cop, and you won't be a fascist. <sighs> what do you think, you're some kind of superstar? Yeah. Is that money? This sucks. This game is making me all upset. You're obviously doing great, so I'm out of here. Oh, I I, now. I don't understand. You were all like, "Ugh, I will be there so, to support you and now? hang out while you stream," and then you leave. <laughs> oh, you just leave. You don't need me. It's not about needing you. I just enjoy you hanging out. But if you don't want to hang out, no, it's fine. Oh well, yeah, it's the, it's the difference between lying on the floor and lying on the couch. Well, see, if we had brought my chair, we wouldn't be having this problem. That would be. Hmm. Hmm. Is that what you want to do, Paige? You want to have a fight? <laughs> <You're saying. laughs> All right, here we go. I'll, all right, I'll, no, eh, stop hitting me. Uh, so hey, I, I will slap. Huh? Oh, hello. Thank you, very sage advice. Hello, thank you for the raid. I will, I will hit you. Get oh, out of yeah? here. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? We get, open that and give me a little bit. Open it. Cause I wanna. Okay, how about this? Where are your keys? It's where the place where the keys always are. On the thing. Yes, on the thing where oh. they, they, the place where keys live. Okay, so I'm gonna just go out back and hit a bottle on your car until it opens. <sighs> That's not what you'll do. You'll check the trunk it's attached to the trunk excuse me oh god damn okay the measure head thing didn't go well for me could you help me with that somehow sorry busy surveying the situation he takes a swig from his flask I'm sure you figure something out you guys oh yeah you guys have all sorts of gadgets these days wire tapping telescopic batons futuristic circuit bending to infiltrate harbor machinery maybe you could even knock that cobalt crane over using some remote controls 
Hmm, I guess that is an option. Shoot, hey, can you guys give me literally like two minutes? I am gonna pee, um, which normally it would take less time, but I have to like s like scout the this bathroom is kind of scary because occasionally there is a daddy long leg in there and it freaks me out. And then my bladder gets shy, so. Why, why is this, why won't it? God in heaven and Jesus and the saints, why won't this work? Oh my God, I can't, it won't let me tab. Oh my God, are you serious? Come on, let me out. It, uh, what is happening? Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out of here, but uh, oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, there it is. Okay, I, still, I don't understand pets set up. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right, we are back. Okay, all right, okay, two minutes. Test one, two, test one, two, three, wah, wah. Hello, hello today, hello today. <clears throat> so he's saying we, maybe you could even knock that crane over using some remote controls. Or calling in tactical air support. You guys have air support, right? Turns to Kim, wait, we have air support? Why didn't you tell me? Because we don't. Oh. We don't have air support or any of those other things. I get it. Hush, hush about the secret technology. He pats the side of his nose with his index finger. Something changes in his disposition. A merciful smile in the corner of his eye. All right, I may have some advice for you on how to deal with Jean-Luc there, out of solidarity to the RCM. It's low in technology, however. Yes. First, don't fight him, obviously. Second, get oh. him to share his theory by being subordinate. Oh. Admit your lack of expertise. Basically, grub him. That's how I do it. You're welcome. Mm, maybe that would work. We'll have to see. All right. Well. Wait, is he saying to opt in, or is he just saying act like, oh no, I'm such a, I'm such a stinky man.
So if I act. Your race descent has only worsened since I last saw you. Plus Black one volition says, says do it yourself. again. Oh. What do you think, guys? Should I try again? Will you give me the juice? Because I'm going to be... I'm going to be all balls, no pussy. Okay, so give me the juice. Give me the physical instrument juice. Juice me up. Juice me up. Give me the power. Give me the power. Give me the physique. All right, let's find out. It has happened again. The Titan has your fist locked in his hand, and he's twisting it. Another fit of criminal rage. Who are you, in your own words? <sighs> Degenerate alcoholic. Good. He releases now go hand. before you enter cardiac arrest. <sighs> Please, stop doing this. You are making us look bad. Oh, Kim is sad now. All right. All right. All right. I'm there. Next time. Oh, that was so embarrassing. And now Kim is sad. Oh, my God. Hold on. What the hell? Hold on. One moment, please. Oh, that's not, that's the wrong button. There we go. Heva, Heva with two underscores, I believe just gifted 20 subs. Thank you so much. Wow, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Especially after I just completely uh, got my ass just completely blown out. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Very kind, especially after I just embarrassed myself because my morale is now like, <laughs> thank you. You've, you've boosted my morale. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, on that note, real quick, Bacademic subscribed. Thank you. Ansel DeLambert also resubbed for 50 months. Hey, I get to use two of these in a row. Cool. Looking forward to your Halloween stream. End of the month is hell at my new job, so I'll be late but excited for the spoops. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'll have some spoop for you. Rage and Inferno resubbed for 11 months. Thank you. Grimlock Fly used 500 bits, big and strong. Thank you. Space Bowie 749 resubbed for three months. Yee, 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 page big and strong and figure it out. Love your content. Thank you. I am very, I use my brute smarts to get me through my life. Pando, these are not sympathy and subs. It's because I'm really cool. Okay. Please believe this. Scrivener X subscribed. Thank you so much. And Daku75 resubbed for 14 months and said, hey. hey. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. All right. Let us. Let us go. Okay, so I am. I, it is now almost six o'clock, and I've no, I'm no closer to getting shit done. I, I'm. I actually. I am a little lost and nervous. Um. I don't know what to do at this point. Hello, in our rhyme. Hello, I am alive. Kim has a gun. Okay, how do I? How do I go back? How do I get Kim to use gun? Follow my task list. Of course. I'm so stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm silly. I'm trying to stop saying that I'm stupid because I'm not. I'm I'm sweet. <laughs> All right. Um, task. Doodly do. Doodly do. Put the clothes in the trash. Who else has unauthorized ask to access? Find this person you know who tampered. It may take a while. Okay, I will. You're right. You're right, Queequeg. You're super right. <laughs> Kim, cast gun. <laughs> Shut up, George. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> Explore the whirling secret path. Oh, yeah. Find a way into the secret passage. Could do that. Um, run the number on the victim's armor. Oh, yeah. Use Kim's shortwave to run the serial number. You know what? You make a good point. I will save real quick. Save game. There we are. Um, I just, I just want to figure out how to get this body down. I'm, I'm just feeling, um, I guess I'm feeling like some weird pressure 
to get that done. You know what I mean? Uh, I will go to the car, though, and maybe... What's up, Patty? So, two things. Is everything all right? One, you do not have a bottle opener in your trunk. Oh, I don't? I don't know what you're talking about. I think that was in the um, old car. It's like there's a little plastic thing that would fly apart if I did that. Uh-huh. Oh, th- oh, I hold real, real quick. Thank you so much. Have a enjoy part one. Uh, I'll have this one up. Uh, well, as soon as I'm finished and then back on YouTube in 48 hours. Thank you again, Heva. I really appreciate it. And second, yeah. we have a We do? Where? I am so silly. You're right. You're super right. I've been sad without my drink. I'm sorry. Can I have a sippy-doo? Yeah, no, that's oh, okay. So, okay. I was just explaining to chat how anxious and nervous I am. Especially now it's nighttime. I can see that it's darker. It's like almost six o'clock and I don't know how to get this stupid body down. And I'm feeling the pressure now to get it done. Uh, A body is hanging from the tree. That would hurry most people. Um, I have two paths to get past big man. Try again to punch or investigate courtyard again. Talk to more folks again. I am on day one polyceramic. I don't need to get the body down on day one. So there's an achievement for just never getting the body down. <laughs> okay, to be fair, that is very funny. So yeah, no. Just thanks. to never get like it down. I'm yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Is it possible to solve the murder and never get the body down? Yeah, you'll solve the murder very badly and incompetently and people will make fun of you. But it will be solved. Okay. Okay, well. Huh. So, okay, I don't know where my gun is. I don't know where my badge is. I went to the pawn shop and I didn't see it. Well, yeah, it's not. I don't trust the way that you said that. No, I mean, if you was at the pawn shop, he would just sell it to you. It's, it's literally not there. Some people puke for three straight days. How do you puke? Well, don't worry about it. The first time I tried, I got the body down in like within an hour. Yeah. The second time, it took me like two, three days. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I feel a little better. All right, in that case. The important thing is that you. you so here's the thing about the Inside, investigation, right? You're really worried about fucking it up. A radio mm-hmm. microphone. Right? You have Pull already to fucked it up. And yeah. Just by barfing. The game even yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Um, some quests are long term. Do not expect to do everything right now. Okay. I don't I don't know why I just whenever oh thank you. Whenever there's a time or a clock of some kind. There isn't. Mm. Oh there's Oh damn. Oh, excuse me. I just went everywhere. Oh, I just went all over my mouth. Ladies. Um no well no, it's the clock is there though. It's yeah, no, page. Yeah. Like. There is a clock. That's what I'm saying, though. That's what makes me nervous. All right, tap on the fuel pre gauge. you tap on the gauge, the indicator pin. Okay, blah, blah, no, blah, blah, no. blah, blah. No, That's I already did that. Um, I think I need to pull out the radio. Run serial. How may I assist you? Number. Sir, officer, what's the number? And the make of the armor, if you know so it. So I'm going to give you a little trick about okay. this game. Okay, okay. Now, every day... And I mean every day has unique events that take place during it. Right, yes. It is literally impossible to encounter them all, right? Let, let's franchise it's to give you the feeling of anxiety. Well, it's working. Okay, but let me, let me <laughs> yeah. listen to what I'm saying. Sorry, yes, yes. It's, it's literally, literally impossible to see all permutations of events. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Like, you spent, uh, what is it, it's six o'clock? Uh, it's almost six, six yeah. Six o'clock? So you spent like what eight hours, and you've made it like maybe a hundred feet, but uh, you still haven't gotten the body down. So yeah. not really, right? Yeah. Um, they there is like a sense of urgency. Mm-hmm. There is not actually a sense of urgency. Okay, so it's just to make the, me feel bad. The game like <laughs> will drown you in time. Okay. E- even when they're like, oh man, this has to happen like pretty soon. Yeah. Unless they give you a date and time. Right. It's just to, well, to nudge you. Well, I know that there is a time thing to... Wow, thank you. Uh, to deep. Wow, okay. To debrief uh, yeah. with Kim. Um, mm. What? Can I see your book? Yeah, you can look at my book. Here's my book. Hey, look. You've got your fucking... Yeah, no, I got I got all that. You got... Oh, you did yeah. all that stuff? I, did, I, don't, I don't know my name, and I don't... Oh, I, haven't, I don't remember... Oh, some of the... Oh. 
Oh, these are... I, I, oh, I've not been paying attention. Good cop, bad cop. On, onor. Onor. Oh, no! Why have I... I'm a big old fascist. Dang. Well, so, so I have my... You're not getting back into that fascism, by the way. Huh? You're not getting back into fascism, by the way. Why not? Because you opted out. So wait, once you opt out, you you don't get it again? That's right. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, so any so I'm I don't get to be What do you think opting out means? I thought that meant it would come back later. No, you rejected fascism. Well, no, no, I'm I'm not talking about like fascism. I'm talking about like I've rejected a bunch of things. Well, rejected like what? I don't remember. Haven't I rejected a bunch of things? You rejected being a sorry cop. Guys, uh, see, now they're... Oh, no, they're wa writing the Twitter guys, thread no, right now. I am canceled. Go, what? Go your thought cabinet. Where, I don't know. Pat, when you said that, I was like, where do I find that? Thinking about, like, my brain. Mm -hmm. Go to your thought cabinet. <sighs> okay, so here's the way it I works. am the sorry cop. When you opt in, it unlocks the thought. Right. But since you opted out, the thought does not appear. So I have no thoughts. Oh, man, I'm so canceled. All right. <laughs> okay. So, so... Queek, you, wait. Queek, wait. Page, yeah, no, you I, see my retweets. You know I wouldn't cancel you. <laughs> Get out of here, Queek, wait. Get out of here, you scamp. Man with no <laughs> legs doesn't threaten to run fast. What? I'm making fun of Queek, wait. Oh, give me more. Give me more soda. Delicious. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. But yeah, no, Paige, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you're like, I don't want to do that, the game will take you seriously. God damn it. Okay, fine. Blah, blah, blah. The mega model of the armor is blah. That's it. I'll contact the ICP database immediately. Call back tomorrow. Hopefully they'll have dug up something useful by then. Insane clown posse? The International Collaboration Police? Right, oh. I'm going to go take care of babies uh, and, and probably nap on the couch. They keep detailed records of all military Love technology you. produced by... You're not going to listen to my sweet dulcet That's tones? That's one of the reasons the moral intern spearheaded the creation of the ICP in the first place. <laughs> what? I said, nah. I thought you wanted me to play this and now you're not even going to watch it? Uh, I don't watch anybody's stream. You told me the... You son of a bitch. You said you were watching my stream yesterday. Uh. I was. And now you are done? Yeah. Oh, fine. Get out of here. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> get it, get out of here. Get out of here. I was watching because it was the first stream, and I wanted to make sure that I knew enough about it to tell you if you did a good job or not, which you did. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Guys, I do not I do not think you're canceling me. I know I know we're all just having a, having a laugh. I know we're all just having a laugh. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, ew, don't whiz. Ew, what was that? Ew, did you burp on my head? You, He burped on my head. No, Get I out didn't. of here. I licked your forehead. How do you not know the difference? I I am going to not say anything I because it will. Did, be, I literally Pat, did this. I went, if uh, I say what I'm going to say, it will be very mean. It will be very mm, mean. Mm, mm, it will be very mean, and you need to leave. It will make you cry. Get out. Oh, no. I will say something okay, very I rude. Love I love you. I, love you. Get, I will say. Have fun, bud. Yeah, I love you. Do you need Do you need anything? Uh, I don't. And since uh, since you're the one on it in the evening, uh -huh. like, feel free to go as late as whatever. All of our chores are done. Sick. Oh. Ew. Listen. Try not to shit yourself. Wait. Okay, I'm taking my my charger back. Okay. Do you need anything? Uh, actually, yes. Do you know where my drink is? My uh, with the. <laughs> I know that's. I have so many drinks. The 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 white. I have many beverages. The 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 white and black sippy, not the sippy, the with the straw. The one's right here. Yeah, no, well yes and no. That's not the It's not the one that has the lid though. You know what I mean? I, it might be next to the bed or downstairs. I believe uh, the black and white one is next to the bed. Okay, if you wouldn't If you wouldn't mind. Series. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. This is yeah. It's it's uh it's it's Mr. Sip Sip too. Um, will you do me a favor? Will you get that and rinse out, rinse it out, and put more uh cold water in there? You want me to piss in it? Uh, just a just a dash of piss, if you don't mind. Your finest piss, thank you. So you, oh, so you want me? Hey, 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 I know what hey. you want. Yeah, you know what you I want. want. Your black and white cup, so you can feel good about your yellow mug. What the f get the fuck out? You, you <laughs> get out. I'm not using the racist mug. 
Although, <laughs> did you? Well, do, do you remember? I like at the at the thrift store I was at. The, uh, I showed Pat earlier. At the thrift store, there was a very racist thing. And I, yeah, and I took a picture of it and sent it, or I didn't. I showed it to Pat. I meant to send it to him, but I I didn't end up doing it so. So I showed him on it on his stream earlier, and he was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, no, I I did not buy it. It was just in the store, and I was yeah, like, no, "I'm taking a picture of that." No racist mug. It's the only mug she'll drink booze out. Of. <laughs> Stop. She feels that it's appropriate that way. Oh my god, I did not buy a racist mug. <laughs> it wasn't even something you drink out of, and I didn't buy it. All right, go, go, are you leaving or are you staying? I, I, You're I, welcome so, to stay. That's not a real story, but I have to say <laughs> the idea of buying like a racist mug to drink out of exclusively is like next level. It's, 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 it's awe like and it's awe worthy. It's like wow, <laughs> really, just wow, you know. <laughs> hey, have you gotten used to hearing yourself in the ears yet? I like it. Yeah, I love the. It, I literally love the sound of my own voice. No, it's because <laughs> it it lets you feel what where you actually need to be. It does. It makes me feel like I have more control over the way I sound. If that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know you how can to turn your head and make yourself sound far away if you want. Like yeah. Fuzzies. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll, I'll get your take, take your time. It's it's not that important right now, but I, I am a little thirsty. Uh also, hey, will you get me a I can't remember what they're called. Canele? Canele? The little, the weird little donutty thing that's not the tart. Oh, yeah, where the uh, in the, the fridge. Yeah, yeah, in the fridge. Oh, I can't remember. It's called like a col, col It's a French thing. Stop burping. No. It's being stinky. It's not a cannoli. Yeah, okay. Shut the, the shut up. I'm, try, I'm trying to I'm trying to do politics, Patrick. Please excuse me. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. My husband wanted me to not talk about politics, but anyway. <laughs> what? What now? What now? I think, I think, I think you're, you're, I think, uh, I think, okay, hold on, I'm gonna make fun of you, you're right. Okay, because you're like, oh, this game's all about politics, I'm nervous, and it's like, oh, don't make fun of centrism, oh, I hope I don't accidentally become a fascist, and like, the, the ultimate page move is to be so nervous to talk about politics, that you refuse to talk about it with your own body. I'm like so upset. Like, like if, I don't. If, you're, if your uh, stomach or your eyes or your brain was like, do you want to talk about politics? You would just start punching yourself. I would just start punching myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Okay. No, here's why I'm just, I'm confused. Cause some of these things I'm like, oh, I, I will learn more. But then my brain is like, yeah, you love hating on this group of people. And, and my lower intestine wants to make me fashion. And I'm like, what, where, how? I, j I just wanted to listen to this person talk. Maybe they give me a clue. Like I'm a detective. Walking around with like a photo of Trudeau. <laughs> yeah. In blackface and like walking up to like four different people and going, hey, what do you think of this? <laughs> what do you think of it? <laughs> Ghost cassette. The, the correct term is the world's most laughable centrist. Uh, <laughs> gross. I'm it's not that I'm upset no fascist I'm upset that I'm not going to be asked again and I and I just I I just I feel I'm a little I'm just confused because I'm not sure what things in this game can come back and what things are gone you know what I'm saying why do I want to be asked again it's nice to be wanted no D because I don't know because I I don't know <laughs> Ugh, all right. <laughs> I'm sick. Play coy with fashion. <laughs> I do not understand women. Listen, I. It's not that. It's. <laughs> I'm trying to make a stupid joke. It's not. It's not going to come out. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you for listening. She wants fascism as an option, guys. Just an option. <laughs> Am I gaslighting myself in a? Fascism! Oh my God! All right, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Alice. Uh, the internal. Uh, she seems confused for a second. 
Uh, they keep detailed records of all military technology produced by licensed manufacturers. That's one of the reasons the moral in moral intern spearheaded the creation of the ICP in the first place. Cool. What's the moral intern? Uh, officer, as much as I appreciate your efforts to lighten the mood, we both have important work to get back to. Did you have any other serious questions? Christ. Have you heard back? No. And I doubt they'll get back to me before tomorrow morning. Anything else? Connect me to Sylvie. Let's see if there's anything else. Sylvie Malaika on the line. Yes. Hello? Hey, Sylvie, it's police oh, again. Great. Oh, what have you? Need to oh, shit. Have you seen my badge? Yes, I know who you are. You're a police officer. Wait, how did the you first law. learn I'm a police officer? You told me back in the whirling. You told everybody, and so does your badge. I don't need to hear about it anymore. My badge is missing. Have you seen it? Oh, no, I haven't. Sorry. Real police would have uniforms, too, by the way. Where's yours? Mm. Kim doesn't have a uniform, and he seems real to me. He's in plain clothes, voluntarily. It's different from not knowing where your uniform is. There are officers who wear the signature Perseus black uniforms to the highest ranks in the RCM and end up buried in them as well. Others do it more casually. Looks like you're one of them. Have you seen my policeman uniform? Uniform? I, I never saw you in any uniform. You had your things on. The disco thing. Disco, put it like a disco ball? Somewhere in a dank rental apartment, two police officers stand in the dark. Trash and liquor bottles cover the floor. Uh oh. Things are not good. One of the men, trying not to slip on old newspapers, makes his way to the window and pulls the curtains apart. Roaches scatter as the light comes in. God damn. Officer Michelle Elfboy Williams speaks to himself. His partner, Sundance Fisher, looks at the patrol uniform he's wearing. <laughs> Excuse me. Then at an identical suit frame on the wall. It's blue and covered in dust. Let's get the fuck out of there. He turns to Williams. He hasn't been here in days. Have you seen my gu Are they looking for me? I guess they have. Have you seen my gun? Please, no. Not this again. Everyone <laughs> saw your cool gun, detective. Saw <laughs> so my cool gun? <laughs> oh. Dude, a guy named Sundance? That's so fucking radical. Oh, it's it's unironically like the funniest line of dialogue in almost any game ever. What? Have you seen my gun? Just, just the amount of people you can ask, like, have you seen my gun? I'm have a policeman and I have my gun. I, I liked the part where I was like, have you seen my policeman uniform? <laughs> <laughs> I showed you my gun. When did it happen? Oh, I forgot I'm trying to, to impress people with it. Oh, it's okay. Everyone That's all right. And... Uh-oh. And what? What did I do? You were waving it around in everyone's face, begging them to describe it. You said it calms you, and then you started making suicide jokes. It got pretty graphic. Oh my god. You were waving it around in everyone's face, begging oh them no, to describe I know, I know. it. You said it calms you. Some poor sort was trying to Whew. eat his pudding while you were screaming, spit flying, imitating the mercy shot right next to him. Wow. Spat some in his food. I don't think he touched it after. Why would I threaten to kill myself? I mean, look at this world. I would love to stay. There is silence on the other end of the line. I should have killed myself. No, please. No more suicide threats. <laughs> oh, ugh. Thank God you don't have that stupid gun anymore. Okay, I don't know what to say. Me neither. Yes, but what happened to my gun? No idea. All I know is next you were waving around money instead, saying things like big bucks cannot lie and <laughs> guns can't buy money, but money can always buy guns. <laughs> It almost looked like you pawned it, but huh? believe me, I did not ask. So I did pawn it. I need, I need to talk to the pawn shop man. Thank you. You hear the call breaking up on the other end of the I radio. See, I see. And then see. the already familiar voice. Anything else I can help you with, officer? I'm done with the call now. 57th, over at the cabin. Okay. And everyone at your precinct must think you're so cool. I'm so cool. Dude, check it the fuck out, right? Watch this. If I take this level up, okay, okay, and I put it into physical instrument, and I can kick that guy's ass. Do you think I can kick his ass? I think I can kick his ass. I believe that's what I did. 
Is that what you did? I believe that's what I did. Should I kick ass? Now here's the thing. No, look at me. There's look a look chance. Look over here. Oh, look over here. Hello. Huh. Wildly uh, important. Hello. Okay. It's wildly important. Did you Can bring you... the donut? I just went to leave to get it. Oh, and I, came back. I forgot. Okay. So I hope everyone can hear me right now. I want to kick ass. Okay. So this is really important. Kay. Okay. Because this game is about playing through failure. Yeah. Right? It's definitely a possibility that you level up your physical instrument, <coughs> attempt to kick his ass, yeah. and totally fail again. Yes. And that's pathetic. And your tent, your your inside is going to want to roll it again or go back and not put your level into it, right? Yeah. Don't do that. Just play it through because having a higher physical instrument will come up later in other situations. What's wrong with being really strong? No, no, no. That's not what I'm... No, no, no. I don't what understand. I'm saying is that the, the, the tendency is I'm going to level it up and try it. Right, right, right. And then if you fail, you load your save and either don't try you know, don't try it again or don't level up and don't try... Right? Because you'll be like, oh, I leveled up and I didn't get the, what I wanted out of it. Right? Okay. Okay. Look, no, look, I just, look I'm, at, I'm not understanding what you're saying. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> scared. Okay. So your plan is look. No. Look. Look. I, I'm scared. I'm scared. You're scared. Look at me. I'm scared. <laughs> Why? Why are you scared? I don't know. Just look over here. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No. No. I won't. What is happening? I don't know. Just let me. Just let. Okay. 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 Let me. I'm okay. I'll look, I'm looking. Okay. I'm looking. So you're gonna. You want to level up and try remember okay. head again. Right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. what I want to do. Now, even if that, even if you do that and it fails <laughs> again, right? Uh huh. Don't save scum it. Why? Because there's tons of checks that include physical instru instrument. Right. And more importantly, you decided to make physical instrument a bigger part of your dialogue. Right. Right? So just let that play. The other thing, genuinely, is by trying to add a point and scum it, uh, your game will grind to a fucking halt like you wouldn't believe. Why? Because I don't it, understand. Because it will happen all, all the time. I'm not. I don't understand what you're saying. But if you don't no, want me look, to do okay. that, look, then I look won't. At me. Look, look. I'm look scared. At me. I'm scared. Don't <laughs> save scum it. Okay. Because the temptation to save scum is always there. Right. Of course. And there are so many checks that if you start to save scum it, you will just literally. Oh, okay. Not. Yeah. Got it. Got. I understand. I got. Right? I understand. I, I understand. think Wooly tried to scum at the beginning, and it's like it takes like. Like, there are a hundred checks per session. Okay. Okay. Um, so if you if you level up physical instrument and fail, right, let it ride. And what you can do, if you want, is try and level it up again in the future and try again, if you want. But the important thing is that you decided that you want physical instrument to be louder. Well, I just, like, I, I'm given all these points, and now I don't know what the fuck. Like, I, I want to progress the game, and I feel like I can't unless I no. beat, beat the shit out of that guy with my strong hands. Okay, so that, I will tell you, that is wrong. I know, but I can't figure it out, and I feel silly. Also, I have this weird thing on my hand. I think I need to go to the doctor. It's horrible. Why didn't you talk to the I, doctor because you I, went to last time I forgot, it. to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go again. Anyway, well, there are many. Look, 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 look at me. Look, 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 look. Yeah, hi, hello. If, even if you hit a total lit, unironic brick wall. Yeah. No, keep looking. Oh, look, hello. Hi. Maintain eye contact. Hi. <laughs> okay. Even if okay. you hit a complete brick wall, mm -hmm. as long as you just literally move over and talk to somebody else, eventually you will figure your way out through every situation. But every time I talk, I'm taking up time. Yes. And the man is still hung up in the tree, and I'm getting anxious about that. No, you shouldn't be anxious. You should be I am also embarrassed. That is also the case. 
All right. Okay. Thank you for the pep talk. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I I will I will not use it the, for. The most important thing is to just just play it through. Okay. And look at me, Paige. Hello. I have horrible OCD, and this is the antithesis to my lifestyle. Well, but what's gonna happen if I don't have a place to live? If I don't pay that man for all the trouble? You're just gonna find out, aren't you? Well, am I gonna die? Am I gonna ruin the playthrough? Oh, you'll just have to. Find you can't. That out. You can't, you can't, you have to help me or I will cry. I'm threatening you with crying, <laughs> please. You'll I'm, die in I'm, real life. I'm threatening you with me feeling just really quietly sad. Please help. <laughs> uh, all right, okay. I'm gonna go get you your cupcake. Okay, thank Thanks. you, thank you. D do not beat off, stop it. You, y'all stop it. All right, okay. Okay, thank you, Pat, for the pep talk. Do not, do not beat off. Uh, huh? Uh, hold on, let's see. Huh. It does look familiar, doesn't it? Is that my face? It is a face. It's half my face. Huh. God, these are beautiful. I love looking at these. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I can do this. Okay. Is this me? <laughs> mm, me. All right. Okay. Okay. I can do this. I'm an adult. Okay. I will... I want to see what's up with the place in, uh, does she have, hold on, does she have anything new to say? Hello again, sweetie. No, get out of here. Am I an adult? I, you know, it's up for yes. debate. So the case what again. Uh, now that we've inspected the scene, I want to know more about this pissing competition you mentioned. What's there to say? It's just stupidity. What kind of stupidity? The cop kind. Our precincts can decide if Martinez is part of Jamrock or the Industrial Harbor, yours or mine, as if we somehow own parts of the city. Typical street gang mentality. So we've let the Union make a mockery of law enforcement here, and now it's come to its natural conclusion. Ah, uh, so this is a struggle over who runs Martinez? Well, sort of. It's less a matter of who gets to police Martinez than who has to. It's an orphan district, in other words. I think the dispatch desk just told both our stations about the hanging. There was quite a brouhaha at the 57th, I can tell you that. Time to settle it, they said. Cop off. But you. I assure you, I am not their yeah. finest Love or toughest with 102 cases solved. What? So he volunteered to represent the 57th, but not out of competitiveness. Mm. On the contrary. So you volunteered to spoil it? Yes. I'm an unrepentant spoil sport. The lieutenant appears pleased with this. What's special about Martinez? Martinez? Nothing. It's just a puddle at the end of some drain pipe. No one cares about this place. They care about sports. Most of our colleagues don't even know how to get here. North of the interchange doesn't exist. I wonder what that says about me that I was sent by my station. Hmm. He raises an eyebrow, thinking it best to let you make the new move. Hmm. I was sent, sent to teach you a lesson about style. There can only be one conclusion. I am the finest. A case-solving machine sent to perform you in every way imaginable. Ah. I must be an augury? Augury? An apocalyptic omen sent by my people. Can you guess my message? Don't be scared, but I think I might be have supernatural abilities. <laughs> why can't I talk? I probably have an unbelievable kill count. I'm going to leave why I was sent unspecified. Hmm. 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 These are good options. I was sent to teach you a lesson about style. Okay. Style me. Oh. Okay, Kim. 
Hmm. Loosen your shoulders. You should ease up a bit. You need more looseness. No, I don't. Oh. I used to. Plain clothes did the trick. For both of us, it seems. Now, hmm. was there anything else you wanted to ask about the competition? If not, we should move. Okay, enough of the competition, then. Let's tell me something else. Yes, it's a wholly pointless matter. Forget I ever mentioned it. He's actually glad it's addressed now. Fuck. <laughs> Plus one Sylvie suicide jokes. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Look at you. Hey! It's because you're a failure. Hey! They sent you to slight no help. precinct 57. Look, Ma, no fucking hands. How about that? Huh? Look at you, it's because of your failure. They sent you to slight precinct 57. That can't be right. Just think about it for a second. You're a raging alcoholic who showed up three days late and argues with his necktie. You weren't sent here to win. Kim, I feel like every time I talk to Kim, I feel like I'm Khloe Kardashian. I'm like, Kim, what if my precinct sent me on this case because I'm a fuck up, like as a joke? Kim, uh, there's people that are dying. <laughs> I've considered it. So it's true. It would be immensely ugly of them. Not to mention unprofessional, but I also think it's somewhat unlikely. Why is that? I check the records. This jurisdiction dispute, who polices Martinez, reaches back to the 30s. It's as old as my station. And all this time, we can't decide who gets Martinez? I think, yes, both stations would prefer a win. Huh, so you are their finest. I am the finest of nothing. Do you really see me as a safe bet? Safe? No. But you are old. You've made it this far. Something has brought you through. We've only just started working together, so I don't know what it is yet. But it's there. So no, I don't think they sent you as a joke. Mm. And even oh. if they did, they are in for a surprise. That is so sweet. Kim saying something nice to me healed my morale. Kim healed me with his sweet talking words. That's so sweet. Welcome back, Pat. Why are you here again? Patty cake? Pa Patty cake? Huh. Oh. Alright. What? Oh, that's weird. I thought I heard him. Okay. <clears throat> Did I already talk to him? I can't remember. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk to this guy. Oh, wait a minute. Can I take that bottle? No. The worker. Is in a deep slumber. Mm. Okay. I think I can ask him about the kitchen. <clears throat> can I help you? Oh, no. I don't. I'm gonna try not to drink. I don't feel like that will help me. You see a heavy steel door with the door doesn't. Oh, yeah. Wasn't I supposed to talk to him about the door? I guess I can ask for a drink and just not drink it, right? Can I help you? Can you pour me one? Do I have a shaker in my hand? Is this. He points to his empty hand. Is this a shaker? He sounds irritated. You sound irritated. Why? All I want is a drink. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a bow tie? And doing this... He shakes the imaginary shaker furiously. Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No. Do you know why? Why? Because I'm not a bartender. I'm a cafeteria manager. Oh. Is there anything else you wanted? Uh. Uh. Play it calm. This man needs to understand... You need a drink to help the community deal with police stuff. I want a fucking drink, asshole! Eh. Peach saliva smells. Why doesn't she have anywhere to live? Pat, fuck off! Uh. 
I have places to live. You don't understand the seriousness of the situation. I'm an alcoholic. I need my fix. I'm an alcoholic, alcohol-operated detective. If you want me to clean up the dead body and solve the case, then you need to insert alcohol into my mouth. Here is a question. What happens when he drinks? Do I become a better detective? Or will I just, like, lose my mind? I can't believe Paige is up. <laughs> I have a drinking solution. Oh, Queequeg. Oh, I, that was done just to spite me. Uh, okay. The, uh, drugs not gonna the stat bonus, stat boosting item similar to... Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Temporary buff, temporary downside. Okay. So there's there's nothing really good about not drinking or doing drugs. Like, I'm not going to be like, you're the best if you don't. Like, it's just a stat booster. No, no, I know, Queequeg. It's fine. I was just, I was just fucking with you. Um... And permanent liver damage. That's true. No doubt about it. Um, oh. I'm an alcohol-operated detective. If you want me to clean up the dead body and solve the case, then you need to insert alcohol into my mouth. Oh, well, in that case, let me pour you a nice, big, refreshing marinella. Do you want that out of a glass or a pineapple? Pineapple. Don't be an imbecile. I'm not going to serve you a marinella. <sighs> I have work to do and broken things to fix. If that was all, I'd like to return to it. Oh, it doesn't change your dialogue, but people in general will be aware if you're constantly tweaking or boozy. <laughs> I know I am allergic to pineapple. You know how it is. Fuck. Okay, well, I thought... Did, wasn't I, what was I supposed to do about this situation? I can't remember. Ball sacks. Hold on. I will open my handy-dandy notebook. Where's the rest of the armor? Getting the body down. Who is it? Union box. Track down badge. Oh, the, I, I, I saw something. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, you guys are. Thank you. I'm so fucking silly. Thank you. The tiny tomatoes. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You have to bring me some too, though. No. Can oh, I also, Pat, you? will you um, will you do me a favor? I need you to go into the pantry and I need you to um, give me some peanuts and mix some walnuts in them and give me one Brazil nut. Literally only one Brazil nut. Do you know what I'm saying? I saw another thing. Another thing. Great. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a mysterious blue steel door in the back of the kitchen. Oh, yes. That door. Sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door. Oh, sorry. No. The, the reason I'm asking for that is... Um, I, I want some certain nutrients. Uh, if I have one Brazil nut, it gives me a uh, full day's worth of selenium. And walnuts are, um, I forgot, I think, I think, I, think, I don't want to say magnesium, maybe zinc. But I'm, I'm sub, um, my nutritionist doctor person wants me to have more nuts, ladies. So I, mean, I have some peanuts, some walnuts, and one Brazil nut. Yeah, so in fact, instead of taking selenium as... Um, a supplement, if you have one Brazil nut a day, that is your daily amount of selenium. Brrr. Yeah, my doctor wants me to nut more. It's true. Yeah, do, uh, yeah. don't eat a bunch of Brazil nuts. They are delicious. Y it, you should... Is it bad to have more than one? I would not have more than one, maybe two, but even two, I, I wouldn't. You can, you can, it's, it can be mildly toxic if you continue to eat it, but just one Brazil nut is good. Um, okay, sorry about that. Oh yes, that door, sure. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door he shrugs. No, you, you can have one Brazil nut a day. You can have one, but that's it. Um, like, like for sure, for sure. Uh, I, I would not eat more than one, uh, even though I have in the past, <laughs> but not that many, just like two or three. Do they taste good? They're great. They're awesome. I love them. They're very, very, very fatty, though, uh, and extremely high in calories. All nuts are, ladies. 
um, where do you even get them? The store. I got some, um, you can get them in bulk. Uh, that door. There's nothing mysterious about it. It's just a door, he shrugs. Do you know what's behind it? Do you have? No, I don't have a key. I don't know how to get there. And I don't care either. It's not like I've been wondering about it for ten years. It's just a frit warehouse, probably. Or some boring storage space with a bunch of old junk and dust. Junk and dust. He runs his finger across the counter to check for dirt. He's attempting to maintain an air of indifference. It's absolutely not convincing. I think you'd like to know what's back there. Fine, okay, a little. But my job doesn't leave me time for wondering about one locked door in one of the cafeterias I manage. So I haven't opened it. I have cleaned the whole place a hundred times over, though, after the animals. And I haven't found a key, so good luck with that. Damn. Oh, yes, that, okay, yes. <laughs> what else? <sighs> yes. Well, shit. All right, fine. This shit sucks. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to Kuno again and what's her face. Come on, hurry up, fellas. Let's go. It's late. It's fucking 621. What's up? Hey. Fuck, does Kuno care? Damn. Kuno doesn't fucking... Alright, fine. Whatever. Um, 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 All right, C come on. Let's go, boys. Move it or lose it. <clears throat> Let's go talk to Kumas. Wait, am I am I too far now? No, no. Wait, yes, yeah. Okay, there we go. Am I not using a, a controller? No, I'm using point and clicky. Point clicky. Are you trying to sneak up on me? She whispers. Come to slip oh, my God, Pat in my Christ. Sleep. It's Thank her. You. That's it? That's all the nuts you gave me? Oh, you want more? No. It's fine. You just dropped some on the ground. Yeah, I know. That's a Brazil nut, right? Yeah. Thank you. Are you sad? I'm sad. I wanted more nuts. Then just let me go get more nuts. I can't believe Pat gave me a, a sad amount of well, amount of nuts. Well, because you said you just wanted some peanuts and a couple walnuts and then the and then Brazil peanuts. Ones. Yeah, Pat. Pat gives small nuts. That's sad. How many peanuts do you want? You want like an extra handful? Or Did what? you say peanuts? No peanuts. Answer my question. Or I don't want to get more nuts. Yeah, give me more peanuts. <laughs> I feel so bad making you go all the way back. Goodbye. <laughs> I love you. Mmm, <laughs> how was the Capcom charity? I to fuck, I totally forgot that was happening. I would have I would have said something, damn it. Well that's cool. Hold on. <clears throat> there we go. Pigs come to take me out. Her voice becomes Trying inaudible. Trying to snuff me out. No, why would you even say that? Then why are you sneaking up on me like that? It's not a good idea to scare me, pig. Not a good idea at all. Way past the initial goal? Hell yeah, nice. Trying to sneak up on... Christ. All right. I will talk to this person. But first, I'm going to go over here to this box. <gasps> A hat. <coughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? Orange bum hat. Reaction speed, negative one. Re Ooh. Ooh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, me, me. Looking good. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to take it off for now. Because I feel like I will need rhetoric. Interfacing. I'm going to... Suggestion. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good for now. I'm gonna take this out of your hand, because I think that's a little spooky. There we go. <clears throat> nice. Can I go there? No, I can't. Oh, I want this. Okay. There must be another way what? into the building. Oh, God. Take the pants off? But then I'm just walking around in my with my little wiener. Can I walk around like that? Oh. Oh, sorry. Here's a question. Can you walk around with no pants it's been on? A week yeah. and now they show up? What do, do people notice? I don't know. I never did it. You never did it? This will do. That's a full extra hand. This ball. will do. Thank you, thank you, Patrick. All right, love All right. you. I love you so much. All right. Feel free to come back if you're bored. Love you. Yeah, I'm good. Can't get wow, thanks. Either. Rude. If you need anything, you can holler. Oh god. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'll take it off. Why not? All right. Kim, what do you think of no pants? So much for a quiet smoke. Look at that. Yes. Oh, don't? I'm cooler without pants. You see a young man on a balcony <laughs> nursing a cigarette. His eyes have been following you for a while. Not looking for any trouble, officer. He says in a quiet voice, despite the cold, his shirt hangs unbuttoned on his frame. So I'm also eating nuts. Yum, yum, yum. Why are you whispering? It already sounds like you're already in trouble. No trouble for me. Just wants to know what's going on here. I don't want to be seen talking to the gendarmerie, if that's okay. I just want to finish my cigarette. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. Actually, the gendarmerie really need talking. Is it really that important? He asks you, adjusting his shirt. Like a nervous cat. He keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. Can you tell me your name? My name? My name is Martin Martinez. Martin Martinez? Hmm. Good local name. Let's go with that. Looks like you got a good view of the Whirling's backyard. Can you tell me anything about the hanging? I'd even go so far as to say that the view is a little too good, my dear gendarme. Do you have an estimate of when the body will be taken away? We will remove the body as soon as possible. Now tell us, where were you last Sunday? Oh. He waves his cigarette. You asked me that, didn't you? Did you? No, not you two. Some more muscular type. Uh. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? The lieutenant takes out his little blue notebook and writes something down. Last week? I don't know. Look. He looks around the courtyard again. Snow blankets, the old patio chairs, and dead house plants. And all the neighboring windows are black. A downy blanket of white <clears throat> to cover up the miserable poverty of the scene. You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? <sighs> I had a friend over. What kind of friend? He was my Sunday friend. Makes sense. Friends are nice on Sunday. You don't have to work. You can just spend time with pals, watching rugby and drinking beer. What's your friend's real name? Did he see something? He doesn't reply. Gesturing, no, with his cigarette. Under the gray sky, snow mm. continues to pile on the neighboring window sills. I'd even go so far as to say that we will remove... Oh. Sorry, I'm just going to see. Ah. You already asked me that, didn't you? Pretty sure I didn't. No, not you. Mm. And when did you okay, last yep, week? Blah, 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 blah. You didn't answer. Yep. What kind of friend? Makes sense. 
Friend's he real name. Doesn't. Okay. No. Oh. We won't. Oh. He takes one last drag of his cigarette before stubbing it on the snowy balcony with a dying hiss. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. Ooh. Mm. This yes. isn't a place or time for questions. Who knows who might be watching from the distance, hidden behind the curtains? Hey, listen. I'm just trying to make things okay again. Can we meet again somewhere else? For a moment. The man on the balcony seems almost vulnerable. Something moves in the depths of his feline eyes. Compassion and a hint of understanding. There's snow gathering on his hair <clears throat> and on his shoulders. A speckle of white against the purple that hangs loose on his slender frame. I am sorry, but I really don't have the information you're looking for. His voice is soft and deliberate. With a flick of his wrist, he sends the cigarette butt sailing over the rail. But, hold on. What's that? For a split second, his hand lingers, as though gesturing towards a stone placed right next to the front door. It's a sign. Hmm. Good luck with the investigation. Hmm. He walks away. Um. Oh, he's walking away. Wee woo. He's gone. The lieutenant puts away his notebook and turns to you. We should run after him. See where he went. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. Hmm. Should we just give up? He could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. He did leave us a sign. Did you see that? He wanted to draw our attention to that stone right over there. The lieutenant nods towards a small rock on a soggy patch of if grass. If we find a way inside the building, we can ask around for his apartment. Great, let's do that. Eh. Oh, thank you. A stone, like any other, lying in a whirl of sleet and mud. Maybe... There's something under it. Turn it over. There's a key beneath it, rusty from the dirt. This must be for the front door. Pity doesn't have the apartment number on it. This building has many apartments, and the man can be in any of them. How are we going to find the right one? We'll just have to go in and see. Put the stone back. All right. Run the number on the victim's armor. Call Alice again later. Smoke around the balcony. Mask around. Okay. Let's do it. Hmm. Eviction notices and missing pets are plastered on top of each other. One second, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna... I'm gonna turn the lights out. Hold on one second. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Okay. Ah. All right. Now we're streaming. Okay. Pat has uh, his chair set for his back, but not for mine. So it's really weird. So I have to kind of move it around. This box is filled with cleaning chemicals and smells of laundry detergent. Let's flip up glasses. The auditor, plus one to logic, negative one authority. I love it. I'll just get. Yeah, nice. Um. What does that do? Reaction speed and rhetoric. I can't believe no one has said anything. <laughs> like I'm like, hey, hello, I'm a police officer. Oh boy. <clears throat> um. Um, I'll leave those on for now. If I need interfacing, I guess I'll leave them. Yeah, okay. Someone has drawn a five-point star on the wall. That isn't just a five-pointed star. 
It's an inverted white pentagram cradled in a wreath of antlers. The iconography of communism, in other words. Inspect the symbol closer. The star and antlers was developed in the sixth decade of the last century and quickly adopted by Mezov and the communards during the revolution. Even today, half a century after, the star and antlers retains the ability to evoke hope, disappointment, and fear in equal measure. Why is the star upside down? To symbolize the toppling of the old order. Also, some social democrats were already using oh, it. What's the deal with the antlers? The wreath of antlers represents a natural crown. It was about building a society that could exist in accord with the natural world and at the same time above it. Why white? Because white is the color of peace. What does it evoke in me? Nothing at all yet. Right now, it's just meaningless shapes on a wall. This door has been closed with a padlock. A chalk drawn number on the board says number 11. Examine. It's a solid lump of metal, but the shackle is deeply corroded. A solid pair of chain cutters would make short work of it. Better whip out those hmm. cutters. You won't get very far otherwise. The tool's not in the hand. Oh, okay, wow. Uh, this door has been closed. Switch gloves? With a This door has been closed with a padlock. Hmm. The chalk drawn number on the board says number 11. Will you guys give me some juice? And yeah, uh, my dick is out. All right, I'm going to ask for some juice. I need that mo Motorix juice. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. I'm not wearing any pants. Just kidding. I'm wearing pants. But this guy, he's not wearing pants. No pants. No pants. Nice. The yeah. shackle Thanks, guys. snaps like a twig, and the lock falls to the floor with a little thud. It should be possible to enter now. <laughs> Misty, I spent my first playthrough with one shoe. Nice, I love it. After you, detective. Ooh, I love how Kim doesn't even... Wait, what are those? <gasps> what are those? What? That looked like shoes. Oh, it's... Oh. I was excited. It's just money. But that's still. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared. It's sp oh. Come up. Up. Oh. No, just. There we go. Damn. Oh, wow. A flamboyant poster of a white star. Real lithography. Books of critical theory on the monstrosities of capital and such. Photos of revolutionaries posing with guns. Revolu revolutionaries love to pose with your guns. Bullet and ooh, a lounge jacket. Ooh. But then I won't be able to hear the sounds of like the esprit de corps, right? Hold on, let me. Whoop, oh, just kidding. How high is my esprit de corps? Oh, pfft, yeah, I can fuck him. I can hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, spiffy as fuck. Classic white summer jacket loved both by the Samarizi... Samarizi... Saramir... Why? Saramirizian. Saramirizirian. So, whatever the communist party and the accompanying subtropical drug traffickers it fits you well regardless of your political ambitions and no pants look at that look at this cute little dangle hanging out hell yeah rock on rock on with your bad self got anything to say kim yes all right nothing, nothing so far okay oh. a plaster cast bust depicts a middle-aged man with impressive sideburns. 
The name on the plinth reads Kras Mazov. Who's Kras Mazov? He's known as the father of scientific communism, also known as Mazovianism. His theories about economic history greatly influenced, some would even say sparked, the anti centennial revolution. Why does this tenant have a bust? The white tenant? star, the photos on the wall. I think we have broken into the apartment of a young communard. How fitting. I also like the idea that Kim is so used to you being a shit, huge shit at this point, that walking around with no pants, it's just not that big of a deal, you know? It is what it is. All right, there we are. <clears throat> Wait, we should at least close the door. Come on, close it. Close it, right? Be polite. You hear someone walking around inside, rearranging the furniture. The number on the panel says 10. The walking stops abruptly, but no one comes to the door. You can feel tension on the other side. Knock again. A poor communard from the looks of it. The room is barely bigger than a closet. Huh? This time the steps come closer. Who is this? Demands a female voice, very intense. This is the police. Open up. Do I have to open the door? You hear the clacking of heels again as the other side walks right up to the door. Her tone is now getting a defensive edge. Do you have a warrant? I'm not obligated to open the door if you don't have a warrant. Let's go. We don't have a reason to get inside that apartment. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> door number nine is locked. Postcard Boogie Street 46. Hmm. Crumpled up postcard depicts an open air market on Boogie Street five years ago. A vendor smiles as dead roosters line his stalls, hung by their feet from canopy. Red blood flows onto the muddy street. Blurry shadows of people pass. Hmm. Sorry, my mouth is dry. Excuse me. I know that smacking sound probably is gross. Num, 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 num. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna heal my morale. Just to be on the safe side. Money. Oh, a person. Apartment 8, their mailbox is overflowing. Hello. Give me a moment. An elderly woman is leaning on her broom, her knuckles white as bone. She seems to have difficulty breathing. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. She sneezes into a dirty handkerchief. Are you all right? Should I call a doctor? I'm fine. Fine. Don't you worry about me. <laughs> she starts coughing, red spots appearing on her cheeks. She's still worried. It's very worrying. Now, what do you want from me, policeman? She's the cleaning lady. She knows the floor plan and the residence. Who are you? I'm no one. Just an old woman who cleans these hallways. If you can call it living. She spits on the floor. Room. Oh. Upstairs, right next to the coal room. Look at his little butt cheeks. Look at his beep beep. It's barely bigger than a closet. But I don't complain, no. She jets out her chin. I have my bed and my aching bones to keep me company. And that's all I need from this world. I am looking for Martin Martinez. Oh, you'll find plenty of Martins here. Don't you worry. She smiles a gap-toothed smile when she hears you mention the name. No, you don't understand. I'm looking for a real person named Martin Martinez. He told me he's Martin Martinez. Pea brain. Someone played a trick yeah. on you. Martin Martinez is a name for anyone who comes from Martinez. Like Jim Jamrock or Raoul Ravagel. Oops. You really didn't get the joke there. <laughs> I thought it was obvious. Anyway, officer, we don't have the witness's name. Mm, God, my... Excuse me. How about a young male in his mid-twenties, dark hair, skinny build, a smoke around the balcony? Know where he lives? Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil, right? She looks at the other end of the hall. Somewhere in the building, a child starts crying. You hear a radio tuned to a talk show and someone taking a shower. What's he in trouble for? No trouble. I just want to talk to him. Do you know where he lives? Talk? cleaning lady laughs, but it turns into a violent coughing spasm. She squeezes her broom, trying to catch her breath. He lives upstairs in room 28. 
Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. It's usually home in the evening. She points east. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. I have a few questions about these apartments. Ask away, policeman. Is one of these residents on vacation? Their mailbox is overflowing. People come and go. I don't keep an eye on everyone. Who lives in apartment 10? No one lives there. It's been empty for months. But I talked to someone through the door. It's possible. I would know if someone had moved in there. She pauses, eyeing the hallway. Maybe it's those countercultural people again. Breaking into a house like it's a public space. You're a policeman. Be good and take a look, will you? Sure, I'll see what I can take. Or find. <laughs> see, see, I'll see what people. I can take. They're worse than rats. <laughs> You know, always littering the hallways with trinkets and empty beer cans. Who lives behind the padlock door? Oh, that one is a scientist, a future scholar. Suddenly the old lady's face is beaming. I think he studies astrology at the community college. Education's good. I always tell them to study. Astrology? Something to do with all those stars around his door. He asked me to leave his drawings up on the wall. You sure you don't mean astronomy? That's what I said. Astrology. The lieutenant shakes his head, as though to say, let it go. Hmm. Come on, people. Try to keep up any standards here. It's not about stars. It's... forget it. That's all. Thanks. She mumbles some kind of a response, then hacks something into her handkerchief. Thanks, I'm off. Firing squad for the rich. Up, oh, up. Oh. There we go. There we go. I know it reads foreclosed by Martinez Real Reality Associates. I can't talk very well. The sea below looks cold and winter gray. Come on, please. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh God, what the hell? Hold on. Did I? No. Did I just X out of the game? No. Are you kidding me? No. No. What the fuck? Oh no. It should autosave on entering the place. Oh fuck. Did it autosave right before this? Tits. I am so sorry, guys. <sighs> this sucks. I'm sorry. Hopefully I can just go fairly. Yeah. Oh. All right. Then I'll I'll um I'll speed through that conversation with the lady again then. Damn. Sorry, guys. What a bummer. All right, so I'll go to continue and see where it left me. Okay, I can I can live. Can I live with this? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, okay. A stone like any. Other. Okay, that's not bad. This must be. We'll just have. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, forget oh the Twitch stuff? Fuck. Okay. Um Do I have to do it again? Or is it fine? Fuck me. Um Do I have to do it again? Let's see. Is it on? Oh shit. Go to options on toggle it on? Yeah, okay. Let's see. Come on. Eh. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's not what I want to see. No. Ow. Okay, no, I can do this. Um What am I doing? No, what am I doing? Come on. I can do it. There we go. Okay. Give me a second just to be safe. 
Gonna do that real quick. Come on. There we go. Twitch integration. Yeah, I gotta enter the token again, tits. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Please hold. Oh, that's why. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm I'm a little confused by the way Paz. Something's set up here. Did, did, did it go to um, there? <laughs> I've already hurt my brain in this process. Uh, good dashboard. Come on, I can do it. I'm an adult. Extensions. My extensions. There it is. There you are. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. All right. Uh, meh. Hmm. 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 Okay. Connection established. All right. Great. We've done it. Uh, sorry about that. There we go. Kablam. Sorry about that. Thanks for your patience. Okay, I will just move this. I have done it. All right. <clears throat> oh, and I am such a silly lady. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Yeah, that's fine. Well, um, oh. <coughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Ah, <coughs> oh, hold on. <coughs> oh my god, excuse me. Excuse me. And the random hero 80 subscribed. Thank you. <coughs> Much obliged. I'm dying. <coughs> Sorry, it was like a piece of this peanut. <coughs> Went like <coughs> into like my lungs. <coughs> God. Too much selenium, excuse me. Okay. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna need to go to beer. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Okay, wow. Test one, two. Sorry about that. I just didn't want you to hear me, like, cough up my lungs. <clears throat> oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <clears throat> oh, it was, like, the tiniest piece, too. I apologize. <clears throat> that is extremely annoying and troublesome. Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so I got to pick up all my stuff here to do. 
<clears throat> some glasses. Putting those motherfuckers on. <clears throat> Breathing is pretty sick, right? Um, <clears throat> wait, I want to see what that is. <clears throat> Old shoe rack. Do do do. Oh yeah, I gotta have this conversation again. Or not, I guess. This door has been closed. Knock. No reply. Exit. It's That's a solid okay. lock. Better without those cutters. Oh fuck you me. Won't get very. <clears throat> Okay, do 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 do. Where is? Okay, put that in my hand. Put that this shit door has been in my hand. With the padlock. The shackle nice. Is after you, detect. Okay. Pop in. <clears throat> There's a star. Uh, get me this. <clears throat> Bullet and this thing. Yeah, nice. Looking good. <clears throat> a plaster cast bust depicts a middle aged white have this? star, the photos on the wall. I think he's known as the father of scientific communism. Also That's odd. Didn't I have a longer conversation? A plaster cast. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where are my pants? <clears throat> nah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, come over here. You hear someone knock. Walking. You can feel knock again. This is the police. Do you have a warrant? I don't go. have a warrant, and we leave. We'll take this postcard. Door is locked. Take from this. <clears throat> I'm just rushing through because I fucked up. Why are we th without pants? <clears throat> we don't need pants, man. Because <laughs> uh, it makes me cooler. The cold never does any are you alright? You're still. Now. She's the cleaner. Um, who are you? Do you live here? I'm looking for Martin A's. Oh, I don't understand. Anyway. She laughs at me. I thought it was obvious. Male. Yes, yes. Somewhere in. What's he in trouble for? No trouble. Oh, he lives up. Thank you. A few questions. Ask him what people come and go. No one lives in. Oh, maybe it's. I'll okay. see what I can find. Yeah. Open the padlock oh, door. I think he's astrology. You mean astronomy. I said. The lieutenant. Yes. Come on, people. That's. All. She mumbles some Thanks. kind. Okay, I am a little confused why I didn't get. <clears throat> why I didn't get the same. Uh thing with the communism but i assume it'll be fine <clears throat> fighting squad with the rich for clothes by martinez was where it was i wearing pants last time yeah totally the sea looks cold winter gray <clears throat> someone has torn down a wall can i continue forward no i guess not okay <clears throat> go out to the balcony And now I will save. Kablam. I did it. <clears throat> it's like almost 7 p.m. Fuck. Yeah, money. Who are you? <clears throat> the streets will flow red once more. A great torrent. Rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. The girl stares at the sailboat by the pier. The streets will not flow red with anything. Who are you? I'm Cindy the fucking Skull. Cool. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for Hep C. Hep, yeah, when we last tested. Had a battery of tests just last week. I'm practically a patchwork of interesting critters. Kinda like a man of war. Despite the attitude, she puts the brush aside. That smell coming from her paint bucket. It's not paint. It's heavy fuel oil. Is that heavy fuel oil? Red dyed heavy fuel oil intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. He says, studying the contents of Cindy's bucket. What did he think I was using? Aquarelles? 
sucked it out of a cop's fuel tank myself. Back in Jamrock. She really did it. She's proud of it too. <laughs> That's some clever cultural commentary. You ain't seen nothing yet, piggy boo. Keep looking off to the side, what are you looking at? The lieutenant furrows his brow at another one of your eccentricisms. What? She nods disdainfully towards the woman performing maintenance on the boat dock next to the pier. Hatred? Disgust? It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her steering. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Who is she? Probably the Wild Bang's rep. We should talk to her. Oh. She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling us nothing. Hmm. You should take the lead. Ask her unexpected questions, you know? Do your thing. Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing her off ah. is our best bet. Good idea, piggies. Run along now. Fuck her shit up good. Impound that boat while you're at it. I'd like to watch her swim back to us on. What are you doing with the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aerial graffitio visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. She studies the wall, suddenly pensive. So you don't know what to write? Have you ever tried your hand at graffitio? When faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff, like pigs go home, and Mono is here. We rarely see pigs around here, though. Just union cabs. And my name's not Mona, so... She wants it to be something true and total. Why are you so committed to defacing the building? This place is severely lacking in havoc. <laughs> not even the occasional trash can. I thought I'd mix Oops. it up. You know, summon the forces of crime and social chaos with a wall-sized invitation. I have an opinion on this. Want to hear it? Yeah. I love public art. Don't mind us and keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. You've lessened her desire to deface the building. <laughs> Do you know anything about the recent murder? I ain't no snitch, pigsty. She wrinkles her nose. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, calm, informative manner. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. I <laughs> love fucko. Catch you later, Cindy. Watch your back, ungular. Oh. You've got eyes on you. Okay, sorry. Sheesh. <clears throat> Ooh, bunch of shit in here. Someone's been sleeping here recently. Cindy? Oh no, it's the old lady, isn't it? Enough cold to last several winters. Smells of chemicals. <gasps> Ooh, pants. Although these jeans look worn, the wearer must have an ass given to them by the mighty lord himself. That beautiful peach-shaped man ass has imprinted itself so deep in the fabric, you can't help but wonder if wearing them would start molding your own vague rear side into a more shapely form as well. Electrochemistry plus one, god ass. Minus one reaction speed, hindsighted. God. That's amazing. Look at this. Money! Five dollars! Not bad. I just totally stole from that old lady. Okay, bye. That is a good pun. This game is incredible. <clears throat> Door is locked and I cannot get in. But I will take from this box. Above tarps flap in the wind. Forgotten hammers and nails rust. Two twenty-five. Nice, more money. I've only got fifteen dollars. Christ. <sighs> Jesus, Lord above. Yeah, I got no pants on. Cause you know, pants are for the man. Oh fuck. Oh well. Guess I'm going too fast. Apartment 12, a loud rumbling snore comes from within. Just, 
I can go inside. Shower curtains are covered in some sort of slime. Money. Thank you for money. <clears throat> um, I think there's another balcony here. We go, here we go. Oh my goodness, there's so many <clears throat> so many thoughts. You hear distant traffic. Night is falling in the city. It is seven o'clock. A maroon glow of light pollution rises from the east. The breaker box is full of cigarette butts and electric wires. Oh, actually, hold on. What do I got? Money. Thank you for the money. Someone's growing rosemary, thyme, and a cactus. Oh, what's that? Money. Just a door. Nothing for you here right now. This is the door to apartment number 29. Complete silence. Whoever lives there isn't home. Door number 30. Voices from within, singing along to some buoyant dance track. This door is made of metal and appears to be reinforced. Someone here really values their security. Number 28. This is where the cleaning lady said the smoker on the balcony lives. Let's see if anyone's home. Knock on the door. No one answers. Looks like the young man we are looking for isn't home. I think our best chance to catch him is in the evening. He looks around, taking in the cold springer. It's 7 p.m. We should return tomorrow mm. after we have finished with our day's work. How about 9 p.m.? Sound good? What do you mean? The smoker on the balcony. This is why we are here, right? He might know something about the murder. So tomorrow, 9 p.m.? Suddenly, he's a little worried about your mm. memory. Sounds good. Tomorrow, 9 Tomorrow, 9 p.m., right here. Apartment number 28. Good, let's go. Damn it. Damn. Turns out it's quite tricky finding someone in a big apartment building. Don't worry. You'll get him. Remember, tomorrow. He's probably gone for today. Hmm. Fine. Poo. Right, so that is useless to me. Okay. All right, so that's probably <clears throat> it for things in here today, I suppose. Hmm. I feel like I've learned nothing. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Hmm. You have no clue. It's just, it's just a, wall. a wall. Damn it. So many walls all over Martinez. Weather worn, cracked, their paint peeling. Leave. I'm gonna go talk to that woman. That Cindy didn't like. I think that will help me. And I'm gonna be fucking crazy when I talk to her, so. <clears throat> I will probably need rhetoric if she is a smart person or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Snuffle fair. Hmm. Pants optional. Hmm. Good ass pants. And I will say no to the hat. She'll respect my academic approach of zero pants. Why is he dressed like he's on a Zoom call? <laughs> that is a beautiful way to put that. Mm, yeah, I think this will do. Mm. The pockets of oh. these new jeans are perfect for sticking your hand into. Makes you look cool, calm, and collected. 
Oh. As your hand enters the pocket, your fingers brush against something soft yet crinkly. Take the item out. Hey, it's a chewing gum wrapper. It reminds you of the fruity juice of apricots. You should inspect it closer if you have time. Something about the wrapper's texture is familiar. Hmm, okay. Oh, I forgot about the tattoo. Interact. A crinkled chewing gum wrapper. The worn label reads, Tutti Frutti. It smells faintly of apricots with a barely noticeable twinge of cinnamon. Why do I even care about this? Good question. There is no answer or secret phrase written on the inside of the wrapper. Yet you're drawn to it. Drawn by regret. Stop before you hurt yourself with a Tutti Frutti wrapper. Throw it away, please. I'll hang on to it just in case. You carefully fold the wrapper into a square before putting it back into your pocket. Lovingly, even. Despite the strange feeling of regret. Hmm. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso of the hanged man. From the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time the lines intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. Their concentration oh. is highest around his heart. Is it like the communist star? The pattern still kind of has an ethnic feel to it, but nothing familiar. Who are you? Gone. What's your meaning? For you to discover. Hmm. You've gotten as far as you will without assistance. Someone close to the victim might know. Put the photo away. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's go talk to the lady. Hi, lady. She's cool. A striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Good evening, officers. I'm Joyce. She extends her hand in greeting. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbor. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. <clears throat> Joyce L, what does the L stand for? Maiden. My maiden name. Her bony hand dangles from the sleeve of her oversized raincoat. <laughs> what exactly is the RCM? I remember hearing it from somewhere. Um, I meant confused. you. The Revachol Citizens Militia. The police. What gave us away? Nothing, honestly. I've said it to every drunk in town, and you're the first one who's responded. What is implied here? That you're a drunk? <laughs> she hasn't actually said it to every drunk in town. It was spoken in jest. <laughs> I'm not a drunk, I'm a police officer. Of course you're not. It was only a joke. Shake her hand. I'm glad to see you here. Grip is tight and cold. She seemed relieved. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. <gasps> but I can assure you of his ultimate competency. How interesting. Hmm. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. Um, Kim told me to be a little wacky, but he's saying I'm totally fine, so I'm confused. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition, but she appears helpful. You're on a boat. Tell me about Wild Pines, what do you do? Can you tell me about the strike, lynching? Do you know about these tattoos? That's the man who was killed. She almost takes the photo, but stops. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Mm. How is you looking at the photo tied to the lynching? Better not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. Mm. I hope there is something else I can help mm -hmm. you with. She wants to answer the question. Protocol keeps her from it. Hmm. You're on a boat. Why, yes I am. She looks at the deck under her feet. Green and white sails flutter overhead. She haven't got a name? The boat? No. It is called Cordelati. 19, because that's the type of sloop it is. That's boring. The word, it, feels strange. Yeah, she, I was just thinking that. Such a beautiful boat deserves a proper name. 
Cool, but your boat really needs a name. Okay. How about Cordelachy 19? Why? She taps on the side of the boat. It makes a hollow sound. Because it was manufactured in Revishall East by a company called Cordelachy, and its hull is 19 paces long. Hmm. How about the X something? How about Dolores? Why Dolores? I don't know. Feels pretty. Hmm. Well, it means nothing to me. Oh. I think I'll stick with the factory name. But thank you for the suggestion. Wait, I'm gonna... Okay. Because it was manufactured... How about X something? The X something. The X... The X what? Wife. Thank you for the suggestion. I see the word has no. emotional resonance for you. For me, sadly, none. So I will stick with the factory <laughs> name. Yeah, the the traditional thing is that ships are she's. What kind of boat is it? It's a pleasure craft. A 19 pacer. It also happens to be rated for category one racing. Though these days I mainly use it for business. How do you like it? My slew? I like it a lot. Her lips curl. It's the eel's hips, baby. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's looking at the woman, assessing her. Hmm. Not a lot of people go on boats there. there. Of course there are. Are, are there? Pull along. We're on an archipelago. How else are you supposed to get around? There is a pinch of defensiveness in her voice, but it is playful. Wait, we're on an archipelago? Yes, we are. She raises we are a brow. on Le Caillou. Look at you, I thought we were in Ravishol. We are, and the city of Ravishol, Ravishol is on the island of Lakayu. Still, I haven't seen anyone else shell a boat around here. I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. It's for crossing long distances in the greater Ravishol industrial harbor. It's not a toy. Neither is this. The woman a toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Revishal, between the city and the islands. She's having a good time arguing against the law. Too good, perhaps. Do you have a Officer, license for this boat? I assure you, I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain, white as the boat's hull as she smiles. Qualified pleasure craft operator. So charming. Where's the damn license? Can I see your license? I just renewed its safety inspection last month, officers. It is completely seaworthy. In fact, it's taken part in not one, but two insulindic mm. regattas. Even finished once. What happened the other time? The other time, I would have finished the race were it not for an urgent work matter. Much like the one I'm on now. Still need to see a license, ma'am. Actually, you don't. What do you mean? The Wayfarer Act specifically denies the RCM the authority to demand anyone's operator license. It's a little known fact among us low officials. But how little known is this fact? I was just being polite. Even school <laughs> children know the Wayfarer Act. Hmm. Hmm. Makes sense, I guess. I mean, look at me. No need to resort to self-pity, detective. Oh, God damn it. You can still ask for her passport. You need to say face if you want her respect. Yes, I'm going Demand to need passport. your passport. Of course. She searches the pockets of her raincoat, producing a bundle of documents in a sealed plastic bag. Look at her passport. The woman is silent, smiling while the waves lap against the hull. In your hand, under the plastic, a light blue passport saying, Republic of Vespa. The coat of arms has a lion and an ostrich. Seagent. Look at the photo page. The woman, born in the year three in the commune of Rivershaw, smiles at you. Face adorned with frown lines and crow's feet. The photo is recent. The name reads, Rejoice Leighton Messier. Your name is Rejoice? Yes, but please don't call me that. Why? Joyce is much more efficient. She doesn't like it. Probably a bad memory. Hmm. Mean girls at school or some ancient lover. You're from Vesper? My husband is. I have dual citizenship. A Vespertine is handier when traveling. Something appears in order. She nods and returns the plastic bag. I to think I have a handle on the boat thing. Good. She takes a sip of her thermal cup. Um, tell me about Wild Pines. What do you do? What we do. I'm afraid I don't speak for Wild Pines as a whole. 
it's a giant undertaking. What do they do? The Pines' core competency is logistics. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those airships there, blinking? Those are the shipping side of things. She points to the small dots on the horizon. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy, oil and gas exploration, offshore platforms. How much money does Wild Pines have? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year, the company booked more than 20 billion real in revenue. Phew. 8 billion? What exactly is a billion? It's a number, officer. A big one. What is it made of? It's made of 1,000 millions. A million is made of a thousand thousands. That's it? I thought Wild Pines was supposed to be big time. And to think, there are years when the group books losses in the billions. A wave hits the sloop. She grasps the mainstay for balance. Wild Pines employ 72,000 people, all of whom have families that depend on their salaries. It is a tremendous responsibility. Where does Wild Pines get all of these billions? They started as an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Isolas 250 years ago when pine ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lormantang on behalf of the suzerain. Centuries of care, deliberation, and madness have gone into this endeavor. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re-emerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is totalizing. Hmm. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. What does such a huge system want with a place like this? Look around. You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners? She gives you a smile. Who are responsible for moving 8% of the world's cargo? 8% of all cargo in the world? That's quite the endeavor indeed. You don't need you don't keep it moving. The workers do. The company is nothing without them. We built this district. She says calmly. All the best parts of it. Rue de saint gislaine with its bastions, the plazas Meteor and Mosaic. Even some of the old street lamps have been <clears throat> put back thanks to the investments from the WP. She points behind you where the seawall rises. Before Martinez was swallowed by the industrial harbor, even before it was part of Revachol, long before Terminal B was erected here, the Pines built it as a resort for its Revacholian employees. A company getaway? For a weekend or a summer holiday? Then came the revolution. But that's another matter. She takes a sip. I'm here to make sure the Pines can fulfill their responsibilities to the place they built. With your help, hopefully, says her warm tone. What can you tell me about the strike? Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. What if I want to hear about trade secrets? First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. An octopus? I will slay it. Good luck. It's only kept in place by the vested interests of half the civilized world, including your own. What the man means is that the Emergencies Act and the RCM both get their authority from the coalition government. But I am derailing us. You wanted to know about the strike. What is your role precisely? I believe the official title is Senior Labor Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago, after that awful lynching took place. Now they won't even let me into the harbor. There's a 2 meter 20 racist behemoth blocking the gates. <laughs> oh, you mean Measurehead? Yes, Jean-Luc Measurehead. She leans back and rolls her eyes. How were the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. She thinks. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. But the strike began in December. He looks at his notes. I wasn't the original negotiator here. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more, I guess you could say, aggressive. 
What are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere, and banners. What did they say again? Oh yes, every worker, a member of the board. I like it. Then you might also like their other <clears throat> slogan. Demand democracy. I mean, that is a good one. Personally, I don't think it has the same pizzazzo as every worker, a member of the board. What exactly do they mean by it, though? What's the demand? It's quite simple, you see. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about what? About anything, really. It needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by Wild Pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees of Wild Pines Group. Hmm. Pretty funny. Workers can't be kings. The king is king. King is dead long with the workers. Hold on, hold on. My brain is, like, starting to go. It's quite something to It's a decision, but what I think it needs a signature of each. Or, yeah. Just say so this is but one of the two on the only the king of the company. They're also kings. This is Long live the workers! That may well be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but as negotiations go, it's not a swell start. What are you gonna do? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. And now people are getting lynched i hear behind the whirling in rags a disastrous situation if there ever was one excuse me from whom did you hear about this lynching i first heard it from the boyer at the gates the one whose very name advertises his aversion to work i think he said it was oh. call me manana <laughs> uh what happened to galmon mr claire told him to how did he put it she pauses to compose herself. Fuck off, midget. Go on to his shorter statue, you see. Mmm. Okay, then. Yes. Keep in mind, this is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before. And who was more than fair with him and the Union. Sounds like usual aggressive posture. The scabs at the gate, did you put them there? The scabs? You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock come to plead for work where the Union refuses to? If they were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you. Not right now, at least. It's implied. She's open to discussing hmm. this matter with you at a later occasion. Tell me about occasion. the Union boss, Mr. Clare. Everard Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Really? Of course not. Evrat is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. <sighs> is he that bad? He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. Wait, there's two of them? Yes. Edgar looks exactly like his brother, except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. Mm. So Edgar has the lazy eye. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see. Oh, like, oh. With a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of their workers' dues. What about the union itself outside the Brothers Clare? The Daybarder's union was once a perfectly normal institution. Twenty years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act. But they did it. I can respect that. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The Brothers Clare came and transformed it into a... How do you say? She hesitates, looking for the right expression. A mob. The Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Mm. Refreshingly honest, officer. She nods. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Evrat and his brother. She turns to you. And your opinion, detective, if I may ask. I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. 
Would you say the Debardeurs Union is? Hmm. <sighs> Effective advocate for the rights of local working men. A giant leech sucking the life out of Revachol. Basically a socialist mob. I prefer not to have an opinion on these things. Hmm. Trying to figure out which one she will respond to. What do you guys think? Tell me what you would do. Hmm. Because I don't know all that much about the union other than from. Uh, I'm gonna say I don't because I well because it it just I don't know enough. But if he's corrupt, you would do the right thing in this situation. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna say I don't have an opinion. I prefer not to have an opinion on the the because that's what Kim would say. Well, no, because that's a... That's what... W <sighs> Kim said he's a mob. That's true. <sighs> I do not know what to do. I'm... <sighs> Sorry. For some reason, hold on. Let me let me go back. Da -da -da -za 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 -za. Once a perfectly normal institution, twenty years old, it must not be. What are they supposed to say? How do they say? A uh, mob. The Debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad as it may be, I, res I suspect we'll be forced to cooperate with them. Just go with your gut, you disgusting fence sitter. Go fuck yourself, Pat. I'm gonna fucking punch you in the butt. All right, I... So if they are a crime syndicate, then I guess they are a mob, right? Would, like, that seems correct. If they are with... If they are a crime syndicate, right? So wait, is, is number three what Kim is saying? Because I'm a little confused. <laughs> Shut up, Fandang. Fandango. Fine, a social mo socialist mob. Thank you for being candid. Sadly, oh, Wild God. Pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades. However much you feed the wolf, the wolf always hungers. Well, one more thing. You said something happened in the elections. I'm glad you asked. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the Union. She disappeared. Disappeared? Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and said she wasn't running anymore. Or coming to work. Ever. End of story. Eerie. Downright haunting, if you ask me. The Wild Pines suspected foul play. But what could they do? It was a Union matter. The point of the presentation is... These kinds of things happen around the Clares. Mm. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Thank you for your concern, ma'am. We'll be just fine. That's all I need here. Let's change of the top. Course. How well, else can I help? What can you tell me about the lynching? Oh. Quite a few things, I'm afraid. She falls silent for a moment, contemplating something. Um, give me like two seconds. I'm about to piss myself. Um, let's go see how hard we can pee. Be right back.
Queequeg, shut up. <laughs> you shut up right now. <laughs> Fucking honestly. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about that. Oh, thanks for your patience, guys. Oh, I'm so belchy. All right, here we go. The information Ooh. I have to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. Oh. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your names and badge numbers. Shit. 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 Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. <sighs> I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41. I'm afraid he doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. How curious. She returns Why is that, the detective? Oh. Awkwardness washes over the conversation. The woman doesn't like this turn of events. Remember when my partner told you I'd recently suffered from an unusual medical episode? My lost badge is related to it. I see. She looks worried. So, are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? <laughs> I could have eaten it for all I know. I don't remember anything. This world, this city, nothing. Fucking... It's possible after a night of heavy drinking, I lost all my memory of my life and the world. Oh dear. She sighs with compassion, sadness even. I suppose this does explain some of the more curious turns in our conversation. As I said, ma'am, Lieutenant it interjects. may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCM. Of course, I sympathize, but I'm afraid I simply can't share anything yes, more until I've seen that badge. Hang on, she's hmm? a professional. Negotiator. She should be open to some sort of mutually Ooh. beneficial arrangement. Okay, this cannot be retried. Can you juice me, guys? I need you to juice me with psych. Give me the suggestion juice. Give me that juice. Give me that juice. Give me that juice. Let loose the juice now, please. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Which one is suggestion? It's think it's psych. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Give me the juice. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, thanks, guys. Woo. Just float a favor at Woo. her. Insinuate. <laughs> She's a negotiator. Just float a favor at her. Insinuate. Surely there's some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials. I will be frank with you. She puts down her cup. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. I swear to God, if she asks for my gun. You're in. But expect her to drive a hard bargain. Like what? Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. Oh, real quick, I want to see. Ooh, scary. Thanks, guys. Okay. Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This is an open secret in Martinez. The union controls the terminal, so it goes to reason. The company has tried looking into this matter before, to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority and resources might turn over the right stones, or... She picks the cup. You can recover your badge, though if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. Hmm. Detective, a word mm. in private before we continue. Excuse us for a moment, ma'am. How did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and, you know, not volunteer us to be her henchman. Oh, so we're henchmen now? This woman is running circles around us. She might have known about your misplaced badge all along. Or she's simply an adept improviser. Either way, we've played straight into her hands. He doesn't let it show. But there is a limit to how much the consequences of your unprofessional behavior can cost the investigation. Is he upset? <laughs> Is he gonna leave? Is he gonna leave me? <sighs> Sorry for putting us in this situation. I'll handle it. What do you propose? That we don't investigate drug trafficking? We could just, you know, find my badge. Oh. He that would over. be fantastic, but do we have the time? The world is large. The world is large, and your badge is 8 by 6 centimeters. You could request a new one from the station, but that would literally take months. What do you propose that we don't investigate? What, what do you propose that we don't investigate the drug trafficking? No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union, or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. What I propose is we ask her. 
Then we investigate, briefly. But do not share the outcome of this investigation with her. We tell her it's done and demand for her information on the lynching. I'm sorry for putting us in this position. I will handle it. I'm sure you will, Detective. Let's get back to her then. Yes? Okay. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Okay, tell me about this alleged dr drug it's trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Ingredients for what, ma'am? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Let me get this straight. The materials came from Samara to Revachol through the terminal? Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They transport the ingredients for a cut. And you want us to investigate? Yes, but you won't get anything out of Evrat and the Dock Workers Union. Still... She raises her finger. Every chain has its weak link. <laughs> Am I gonna need bold cutters for this? Unlikely officer. I'm talking about the lorries. Once the ingredients reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers, well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they may be vulnerable. Hmm. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. She gives you a knowing look. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, hmm. I will share company secrets with you. It's no coincidence the lorries are stranded like that, is it? No. Is it? Blah, blah. We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However... She pauses, looking to the sea. This is a limited time opportunity. Once the complaint has been processed by the Trade Committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge, and the operation will continue. Damn, I should have come talk to this bitch ages ago. <laughs> she looks north. Thousands of liters of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Well... At least this solves one mystery. What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open mm. a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in on my motor carriage. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kisaragi, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. Why didn't you come to the RCMs earlier? We did. On more than one occasion. Apparently, there's some sort of inter-precinct disagreement about whose jurisdiction this area falls under. We know the company has launched its own probe into the Union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's been able to find any hard evidence. Well, here's your chance, officers. What proof do you have that the Union is involved? How do you think they're financing this strike? There are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. There was a shakedown of mm. local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. So you think the strike is being funded with source ingredients for drugs? Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely. Then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find one driver who will open up to you. It sounds like she tried looking into it herself. Though she's clearly not the type your typical lorry man would confide in. Okay, I've made up my mind about the smuggling investigation. Yes? We will take this case, probe the drivers, and see what it yields. Excellent. Takes a sip of According tea. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering mm. near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days at least. You should have the time you need. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. She takes another sit long sip from her seemingly bottomless thermal cup. You seem rich. Can I have some money? Is what you want to say. 
but it isn't that easy. Wait, what? Why, why not? Look at that lady. Take a gander. Squint your eyes. What bum. nice fabrics. Why, yes. Tucked away under that sturdy green raincoat, almost rustic in its simplicity. A silk shirt and matching scarf around her gentle throat. While dull orange pearls hang from her earlobes, red from the cold. Her light green eyes scan you, full of knowledge and worry. Wealth and all its possibilities. Mm. These are the kind eyes of the rich man that seem to say Good night, Queen everything Quig. is possible. Best of luck. These are the kind eyes of the rich man that seem to say everything's possible. Yeah, so? Now look at you. You misery-clad simian. Barely able to tie your own laces. Your armpits are lakes. A scythe of booze precedes you. Your hair sticks to your forehead and your underwear feels uncomfortable. You're poor. Poor as balls. <laughs> you can't ask this person for money. You're too... Ashamed? I'm not ashamed. What is this feeling? I've never felt it before. I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough. As I should be for even considering it. This is a woman. And I am a man. Yes, I should make my own goddamn money by now. Um... Tell me what to do. Give me an idea. What would you guys do? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm a goddamn working man. I'm not ashamed to shake this leech for some dough. You think your little communism protects you from this feeling? No. The more demeaning it is to grovel at her feet. Oh, God. The lieutenant is here too. Do not dishonor the force. Oh God. As I was saying, if there's any way I may be of assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. Plus one herd of billions? <laughs> oh shit. Hmm. Can I make it? Well, I <sighs> you're doing it. You seem rich. Can I have some money? Can I have some money, ma'am? Help me, I'm poor. I need money to keep living. <laughs> which one should I choose? Which would you choose? Which is, which is the best option? Really? Really? Is that the one that she'll actually give it to me, though? Help me, I'm poor. I need money. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I'm sad to hear that. She nods as it... How much oh. do you need? Oh. She's surprisingly nonchalant about this. Could it be that she somehow knows more about your predicament oh than she's letting on? I need 10,000 real. Come now. Nobody carries that much cash on their person. Particularly in a place like Martinez. I'd get robbed. And even if I did, I still would not give you 10,000 real. Damn it, did I fuck this up? I would rather up? buy something nice with it, like expensive hi-fi or a new hydrodynamic E40 sail. Hydrodynamic E40 sounds fast. It is. Fast and silent. Try again, but lower. I like high-fidelity anything, sir. Now, try again, but lower. <sighs> 130 real. That's a good sum. Not too small, she knows. Not fantastically large. She reaches into her raincoat and pulls out a Ziploc bag. In it, you see paper notes arranged like black gills. She removes a few notes and hands them to you. The paper is cold and oily to the touch. Whoa, whoa. Did you see how easy that was? Ask her for more. Toot, toot. Train to money town. <laughs> I am not going to ask for more. She's not going to give it to me. Nay, it would be dishonorable, and mine honor is my life. Can you eat honor? Are you an honorable? <laughs> give me a break. Fuck off. So, I hope I didn't just bribe you, officer. It may not be technically illegal under the Emergency Act, but still. You bribe me, all right. I'm your little peon now. Ma -ma 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 -ma. I'm an honorable policeman, one of the few good men in Revishol. I'm still getting my head around this whole money concept. You were just helping me out. I want to talk about something else. 
Uh, yeah, you bribe me. You're right, man. That donations are permitted under the emergency act, <laughs> and seemly as it may be, as long as they are properly loved with the precinct. Which he most certainly will do. She bows. Now, how else can I help the RCM today? Besides supplementing its salaries. <laughs> you seem smart. I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality we're in. This reality. Oh yeah, she's the rich lady. Uh, she pulls her hood closer around her neck. It's related to that medical episode. I have trouble remembering the even most basic terms of reality. No time to explain. Just give me the lowdown. Actually, now is not a good time. It's related to that medical episode. Ah, yes, the episode. Sounds like an acute case of encephalopathy, mm. now that I think of it. She puts down her thermal cup and looks at you. Don't be faith, madame. He functions perfectly well. He only needs a low down what? on all of reality. Oh, are you going to sleep, Pat? Pat, are you going are you going to like sleepy times? Like like sleep? Fuck. Because <laughs> I want to go to sleep too, but I'm talking to the lady. I want to snuggle. Uh, oh, dicks. <sighs> Let me text him. Are you going to bed? What's happening? Are you going to sleep? Oh, shit. Is this like a super long conversation? Fuck. Can I get out of it? I'm tired. <laughs> Don't be phased, madam. Uh, we may be here a while then. Ask no, away, I'm tired. I can. Uh. All right, we're in. I know these. Boys. That's all for now. Glad to have been of assistance. Bye, good night. Of course, detective. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> hey. Oh. Psst. Who me? Yes, you. Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Again? Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. You've built it before. They've built it before hasn't really worked out yet but neither has love should we just stop building love too love has worked out really well for me i'm a love winner good we need tender men like you building gargantuan communism word on the street is it's going to be ten thousand times larger than any communism previously attempted by human beings is that right? How come there's word on the street? You keep oh. saying things like, down with the bourgeoisie, eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impel all people who have more than 25 real in their pockets, literally murder all human beings, regardless of their political beliefs. That kind of stuff. I've said some mildly left wing things. Oh yes, the mass of ambivalence. Don't deny it. You're about to rip it off and reveal the monstrous seven-eyed lamb of global communism that would devour <laughs> and masticate lamb. mankind. Masticate mankind. Everyone can see that. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big communism builder? Or do we get right down to it? Wait, first, what is this communism even failure. about? It's about failure. I don't do failure. Of course you do. You are failure. Oh. You are communism. Absolutely vanquished, beaten, curb stomped, shat on. Mm. While everyone else is out partying, having a callous laugh, you will reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. You alone, against every living thing, against every human alive. 800 trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother wow you against the atom the charm and the spin where the whole world failed matter failed to bend to human will human will fail to get out of bed and tie its laces you alone single-handedly we rebuild the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. <laughs> Is it like the last unicorn? Now get to work, comrade. All right, roll up your sleeves and start building communism. Oh, yeah. Get the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. Wait, what firing squads? You didn't say anything about those. Too late to back out now. Oh, no. 
You can't make an omelette without breaking a few million eggs. Oh, well, roll up your sleeves up further and breathe in the pristine air. I've done it. I have made a thought. Uh, oh, oh, that's not bad. Uh, negative two visual calculus. People think communism was some crazy idea that had its come up since 40 years ago, a fever that shook the world, never to return again. And they were right until he woke up today. A spiritual corpse responsive only to the call of Commodore Red, prostitutes, and Kras Mazov. For him, communism is still a thing. He will single-handedly raise the commune of O2 from the ocean oceanic trench where it has been resting, covered in ghosts and seaweed. He is the big communism builder. Come, witness his attempt to rebuild communism in the year 51. Internalize. Interesting. Okay, great. All right, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I'm going to go to bed now. Hold on. But first... But first, I will give a couple of more thank Roonies. Uh, Tums Festival resubbed for 41 months. Much love, Mother Saliva. Hope you and Pat are doing good. We are. We are. We're just a little sleepy. Yet another Brony resubbed for 48 months, which is... How many? That is four years. Oh, my gosh. Due to finance issues, I'm going to cancel my sub. I won't be going anywhere, though. Only difference is I'll be freeloading from now on. Maybe I can kick in a dono once in a while. We'll see. Thank you guys for always supporting free viewing like this. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, I super appreciate, like... Any anything, any dono, any sub, that's super sweet. But yeah, like, enjoy. Enjoy and watch. I'm just going to hang out and play video games, and I hope you'll join me. It means a lot. And KYH9 resub for nine months and said, Can you eat honor? I say yes. I say yes, but who knows? All right, I'm going to save the game. Oh, am I? Am I going to do it? Yes, I am. I have done it. Ah, <sighs> whew, scary. Okay, I have the money, and it's not even 9 o'clock yet. Hell yes, I did it. I feel a lot better about that, at least. I did not get the body down, but at least... At least we got that. Anyway, hey guys, guess what? I love you, I'm proud of you, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I don't know if I will be able to stream this tomorrow, uh, as Pat and I will have... Um, some errands to run that we should have done today, but I was too lazy. So, um, yes. Uh, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe Sunday? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But it's probably going to be in the next one, two, three days. I did manage to scrape by through begging. I did it. Thank you. Oh, also, Tiz Unchained. Re t unchained. Uh, tiz Unchained, because I can't speak. Resub for 68 months. Thank you so much, Tiz. I really appreciate it. Much obliged to you. Um, yeah, I will, <laughs> I will stream again soon, for real. Uh, I love you, I'm proud of you. Have a wonderful day, night, whenever you hear this. Um, I will be putting this up on YouTube in about 48 hours, but the VOD will be available almost instantly. Um, and yeah, I will raid someone, I haven't decided who, but, um, please be nice to whoever you are, uh, sent to, and, um... If you would like to know when I am streaming again for certain, please follow me at Peach Saliva on Twitter. I usually try to give at least two hours notice to let you know when I'm going to stream. All right. Have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you guys soon. Papyrus, do you want anything? He is good, and he is sweet, and he has nice feet. Beep, beep. He is good and he is sweet. He is big and he is strong and he is a sweet beep beep. He is good and he is sweet. He is big and he is strong and he is a sweet beep beep. There's a cat in the rise, I think his name you know. But if you are not privy to it, spell the L M O. He's not the most together guy, but he's a little man. Pat and Pat will love him. He does the best he can. He is good and he is sweet. He is big and he is strong and he has nice feet. Beep, beep. He is good and he is sweet. He is big and he is strong and he has nice feet. Beep, beep. When the camera's rolling and the chat is scrolling, Elmo knows it's time to shine. The spotlight will be stolen. He'll look at you and scream. You take over the stream. 
And then you'll have to slap his butt and sing the PPT. Here we go. Is good.